Hi, hi. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? Hi, Haru. Hi, Ellie. Hope you're all having a wonderful evening. It's another Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy Friday. Or Final Fantasy fourteen Friday, if you want the extra F. Uh, yeah. That's about it. I, it's, it's just Friday. And Final Fantasy time. Uh, weird, weird, weirdly enough, uh, we have another event going on. Uh, last time it was Halloween, so obviously this time it's going to be Valentine's Day. Uh, so we're going to be doing some Valentine's Day questing. And we're going to be doing some Arcana Guild because we want to get that done. Ellie's doing some ninja quests. Good, good. Yeah, I, I hear uh, I hear Limsa Laminsa's for lovers, as my title says. <laughs> yeah, how are we all doing? It's a it's a Saturday evening. Uh, or not Saturday, Friday. What? I, I just said it was Friday like 10 million times. Why am I calling it Friday? <laughs> Why am I calling it Saturday? Why am I calling it? I'm confused and tired. I've had a week. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I streamed uh, twice. Or rather, I didn't stream. I was on other people's streams twice on Friday. So I was like online on voice call for like seven hours on Wednesday. It's true. It's Saturday for Haru. That's what it, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. It's Saturday for Haru. That's that's what I meant by that. <laughs> um, but I, I was live for like seven hours on Wednesday, and then uh, Thursday was my work day at the museum. So that means uh, I'm I'm still a little groggy from all that. Uh, but yeah, we're just waiting for Sophie to uh, finish introducing for her chat. And then we'll be uh, ready to take this and go. It's, uh, you know, you know how it is. With these collabs. Whew. How we all doing? True. I do. I don't sleep as much as I used to. I, I Ever since I started taking melatonin, like, um, when did I start taking melatonin? It was like, uh, it was like, la like sometime last year, I believe. But ever since I started taking melatonin, uh, I have uh, not needed as much sleep. Before melatonin, I usually needed like 10, 12 hours of sleep to be rested. Uh, now I take eight hours like a normal person. <laughs> uh, that's what insomnia does to you. Insomnia is a hell of a thing. Uh, for those of you uh, who are not uh, regulars, uh, you may not have noticed this. Uh, but I have improved the audio somewhat. At least I hope it's improved. I have I have worked towards improving the audio somewhat. Um, sorry, I was just adjusting the microphone's positioning because I I had it in a weird way. Um, but yeah, I I should the the audio should sound a little better than it was before. So um, you're welcome. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I've also adjusted the blink sensitivity a little bit. Not that you could tell, because it is still a little, it is still a little wonky sometimes. Um, but it's better than it was. I'm pretty happy that the, with the, with, with how generally it works. I, some, there's some issues with it in my opinion, but, uh, generally speaking, it works pretty well. 
I still I still wish it wouldn't blink when I look like with my peripheral vision. If I look with my peripheral vision like this, it closes the eyes. I don't I don't understand why. I guess it loses track of the pupils and the pupils are the only way it can tell that the eyes are op open or close. No idea. Seems kind of weird. Hello. Hello. I may have been slightly stupid and forgot to um, make the promotion before going live. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. That might have been a slight mistake. Uh, as we say in the biz, a big ripperoni. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh but yeah, if you if you uh, don't know, uh, I usually do Final Fantasy fourteen with Sophie here. Uh, check out Sophie's channel and all that. Uh, yeah, it, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, getting logged in while you deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's already mostly taken care of. Awesome. Oh, but we're already being invited. To, I'm already being invited to Eddie's party. <laughs> yeah, I just got to get in the data center. I'm going to just swap over to my gaming team. <laughs> that is not picking up Final Fantasy XIV. I forgot I'm dressed it? like a well-dressed clown. <laughs> we were talking about this right before stream, too. I, I still forgot that I'm dressed like a well-dressed clown. I mean... You most certainly are. <laughs> Clown in a skirt. Clown in a skirt. Let's see. Can we get Final Fantasy fourteen up here? Yes, oh. we can. Ellie can awesome. Naruto run now? Yeah, apparently. I, I was told <laughs> about that too. <laughs> I don't know how or why, but I was also informed about that. All right, also, we're loading I, have, in. I still barely understand how this glamour dresser works. Yeah. Oh, I love the animation of getting out of bed. So much character in a silly little animation. Oh, I wind up airship. Okay, we join. We join the party. Get me out of this room. <laughs> there there goes the Naruto run. It is Ali actually Naruto running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, literally literally Naruto running. Damn. Literally okay, Naruto running circles reason, around me. <laughs> how do I do this? So for some reason it seems like the hat from the clown's outfit is tied to my glasses and I don't know how to untie it. Wait, the hat is tied to your glasses? Yes. How do I do that? I want that. <laughs> no, I don't get the glasses. I just get the hat from equipping the glasses. Oh. <laughs> it's not what I want. Oh, you must have them glamoured together somehow. I don't know how. Neither of them is even in the in the glamour thing. <laughs> I don't. No idea. I am so confused, to say the least. The Final Fantasy is very obtuse when it comes to the glamour stuff, I've found. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I have no clue how to do this. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, your class literally is just Naruto. It's just, you're just a Naruto. Honestly, though. Just, just a Naruto. <laughs> Ninja Naruto time. Can we please? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I have no idea. Hey Ellie, would you mind helping real quick? <laughs> 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 yeah, El El Ellie, head over to Sophie's stream and see if you can find the solution. How does how does one fix this? 
Also, I'm just gonna mention it seems my stream is running way more fluidly than the last few times. Yeah, OBS uh, does not take nearly as many resources as Slobs does. Yeah, I noticed. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Time to dance on the table. Time to dance on the table. <laughs> Why can I not remove outfit dumb thing? That's the god damn it. Uh, uh, hel helping with the uh, the issue with the glasses and the hat. We're putting on the glasses makes the hat come on. I don't know what's happening. It's definitely something glamour related, but I have no clue what's happening. Yeah, are they are they tied together through the act like the regular glamour system rather than the glamour? I dresser? I have not touched the regular glamour system. I didn't think you had, but it, it's the only thing I can think of. <coughs> I did not touch the regular glamour system. Singing storm cloud, I am stepping, I am jumping on your food. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, today we're doing uh, Arcanist Guild quests and the Valentine's event. Uh, very, very strange time. And I can't dispel the glamour because I don't have a glamour dispeller. <laughs> Why Rip. is this so dumb? Who designed this? <laughs> Uh, someone who wanted you to have to buy glamour crystals. Also, has Ellie figured out how to get rid of this yet? Uh, Ellie says you have to dispel it with a glamour dispel. I don't have a dispeller! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, no glasses or hat, I guess, because I'm not wearing that godforsaken hat over the glasses. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping you'd find a way to wear them both, and I was like, oh, I will take that. I wish. Oh, Ellie well. says, I don't know then, I guess it just exists now. <laughs> so, oh, uh, well. <laughs> no Let's solution. Let's into the actual event. <laughs> uh, no, no glasses for you, basically. That's what it seems like. <laughs> That's a naked child. Okay. <laughs> I do not, do I, I do even not, want to load in anymore? <laughs> I do not like what people do with the child characters. With the, the, the child people. Aren't they technically just like dwarves? <laughs> yeah, but they look like children. <laughs> you cannot deny. <laughs> Where are you? I'm There's just Ali. Just outside. In there the clown go. outfit, of course. Mm -hmm. We're a couple and, of clowns. Uh, indeed, in our you too, yes. Mm -hmm. So, wh wh where am I supposed to be looking? Um. Oh, for the kid? The kid left. <laughs> the naked child? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. Do you want to know where the event is? <laughs> sure. Which one are we doing first? It's by in the, the way? exact same place as last time. <laughs> ah, that must be where just where events are. <laughs> so. Wait, did you just. Yeah. Did you uh, just summon a rabbit? El Ellie, Ellie used the uh, ninja no jutsu to summon a rabbit. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, if someone could teleport us to Old Gridania, that would be fantastic. Stares at Ellie. <laughs> Or we stand around looking at any show off. That's also True. an option. Also, also an option. <laughs> Valid content. <sighs> to okay, be honest, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a giant. Except the teleport. This person has a weasel. I'm still loading. That person just teleported away. 
No more weasel. Nice. No more weasel for you. <laughs> I miss the weasel. Do you really? No. <laughs> 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 Where did she go? Uh, I'm over here, on the bridge. Oh wait, I have you on the map. Wait, did I spawn in before Addy? <laughs> Possibly. Uh, anyways, um, we yeah, know where the event is. Yeah. Old Gridania. I'm actually gonna check something real quick. So give me one second. Let me pull up a map. Maps. I found out maps were helpful last time. That was my big discovery. Ooh, that's not where we want to go. Okay, so I apparently don't have in-game sound currently. Oh. That is dumb. Um, why do you not have sound game? Can we talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just gonna remove the source real quick. And, um, add it back in. Well, this and certainly... hopefully that fixes it. This certainly is something. And here's our I old friend the Simpkin. Event. Yeah, I'm right in front of the area for the event. Here's our old friend Simpkin, though. Who? Simpkin. The, the NPC whose name is Simpkin. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, he's the guy who has a funny name. That's that's it really, literally it. That's the entire it's joke. It's really not picking up any sound from using game capture. That's Ooh. dumb. Weird. What source do you use to capture the game with? Uh, I use a game capture source. I am so confused. Uh, are you... So... When, Front, when, it, it, yeah? When you're in-game... It, it, should, it should just... So for game audio, it should just be coming through your desktop. So it, it should be in your desktop audio. It doesn't show any desktop audio either. Oh, well then they can't hear me either. Uh, so you're, you're gonna want to add uh, desktop audio. Um, and How the way, does one at that? The way you're going to do that is you're going to go to uh, your settings in OBS and go to audio and then uh, find out what the issue is. It might be that there's a missing source so that it doesn't know where to get the desktop audio It has audio desktop from. audio disabled. I hate it here. Aha. Well, there you go. Right. Right. Thank you for the redemption. I'll hydrate. Da, 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 da. Well, that explains an awful lot. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I think that's the one. <laughs> okay. Um, it's so funny how much taller I am than Ellie. I now just I now just need to figure out where what sound level to put this on. So Chad, if you if you could be so kind as to tell me whether the game and or Ian are too loud or quiet. Booga booga. <laughs> and if no one's around in my chat to do it, can someone from Ian's chat hop over for two seconds? <laughs> yes. You should be you should be watching both at the same time, uh, and uh, dying from the audio a crossover. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then while while you're over there, make sure you're followed too. Am I even going to the event location? I am not going to the event location. Just follow us. I am going wrong way. But yeah, if anyone could be so kind as to check my uh, audio levels, that would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, I would check it, but uh, then it would be horrible on my end for a little bit. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it, don't worry. <laughs> yes, Roy, please try. I would where's, greatly appreciate that. Where's Ellie going? Oh, Ellie's going over to Sophie. <laughs> that would also be greatly appreciated. I just need to know whether the game audio and or Ian are uh, too quiet or loud. Yeah, it's just the levels matter. I'm guessing it's probably a little bit on the loud side currently. <laughs> Looking Perhaps. at these bars, but I'm just gonna... Mayhaps. Let the viewers judge that one. What the hell? 
Also, I really like Ellie's minion. <laughs> the fun that is, not the airship. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit loud. So I'll turn it down a little bit more. How's that, right? House. And how well can you hear Ian? Also important question. Wait, what is that minion Ellie has? Uh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> it, it's a wind-up version of the boss of Loyalim Salamins. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Have you noticed the, I, na the name of this house? I'm guessing the audio is probably fine now. I... Probably. House Valentione. I can hear you and so far good. Okay, so let's see if the audio stays good. All right. Now let's get into the actual Valentine's event. It is so busy here. Damn. Yeah. And there's a bunny mate. <laughs> nice. Yeah, makes sense. Love Lisette to see it. The Valentione. No, no love lost. lost. Oh, some experience points too. It is a season of ardor and affection. Rome is a stick upon the air. I, Lisette of House Valentione, entreat you, dearest one, to breathe deep and take love's richness, its cloying, rosy radiance, into your bosom. Alas, every rose has its thorns, and even in this fairest season it's not without its trials. Indeed, trouble is afoot and it threatens the hearts of all in this realm. A fellow of ours, a Mughal well-versed in the myriad manners of the heart, has found himself in quite the quagmire. The sweetest of thing, the sweet thing of which we speak goes by the name Kupka Kup, and is a emissary of pen passions and uh, all such bidet do. Valentione's day is a joyous occasion, but not always so for those who acquit themselves as post moogles of the realm. Kupka Kup has his poor paws full with delivering heartwarming missives far and wide, hither and thither. Though he would never admit it, I fear he's at his wit's end. But you, benevolent adventurer that you are, can provide precisely what our hirsute herald requires, oh so desperately. Pray, lend Kupka Koop your talents and retrieve him from the edge, whereupon his wits now teeter so precariously. A working adventurer is a happy adventurer. Exactly. <laughs> Marvelous, you are a hero through and through. Kupka Koop will be so relieved, I shall fetch him at once. I was about to say, I thought that little person was going to be... I was like, that's not a Moogle. <laughs> ah, why yours is a face I know well. No introduction necessary, I, uh, friends. I will be back in two seconds. I need some water. <laughs> okay. For so renowned are you as I, that I feel I have no, known you my, all my life. My post-Moogle compatriots speak of your daring do almost nightly, Kupo. How they will bristle into puffballs when I tell them we are acquainted. Oh, look at him. Look at that little fella. It's like a cat and a bat and like a horrible wombat creature with a terrifying antenna sticking out of its head uh, and no mouth. <laughs> I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> I have I have no mouth and I must deliver presents. I am back once more. Welcome back. I finished that Hopefully... line of dialogue and on to the next one. Okay. So which line of dialogue are you on? Now then. Okay, go ahead. Now then, I hear from Astra that you would help me in my hour of need. For which I am most grateful. However, it is not the work itself that vexes me, but rather a colleague of mine, a clueless courier, newly inducted into our vocation. Every, every Valentione's day, we emissaries are overtaxed, and this season has proven no exception. 
I had hoped to nip this issue in the bud by petitioning the deputy post bugle for a helping paw or two. He obliged, but he sent someone altogether worthless. A disciplined Tiro. Uh, an undisciplined Tiro. <laughs> to make matters worse, the daft thing is painfully ignorant of the, in the ways of the heart. <laughs> you should hear the way she speaks to the clientele. What an ugly gift. Love must be blind. And such nonsense. Left to her own devices, I fear she'll ruin Valentione's day. <laughs> Kupo. Accurate. Give the girl the axe, you cry. The impulse is very much with me, I assure you, but I can't rightly turn away the very assistance for which I begged. I would come across as the most wretched ingrate ever to have wings. Uh, yet I haven't the time to train her, let alone the patience. Fret not, our harried herald. You are right to have sought our help, for I have come across come upon the cleverest solution to your predicament. We shall enlist the help of the doughty adventurer and House Valentione's own Astrid to accompany, said Callus Courier. <laughs> <laughs> you, not, you cannot be surprised by a suggestion. Tis a most natural fit. Ian, so skilled with so many subjects, will teach your assistant the most delicate art of the post, while Astrid shall instruct the Moogle in the waves of ardor and adoration. There, a splendid plan if I say so myself. I feel for this Astrid fellow. Is Astrid like a child that they are like like a, a regular adult body that they've made small to replicate a child? I, I don't know. Because she looks really weird. You're not wrong. <laughs> are you both sure you're up for the task? It isn't too great a bother. <laughs> what a seasonable what relief indeed, Kupo. I shall bring her to you at once for there's no moment to lose. What a fat little moogle. A cute fat little moogle. <laughs> <laughs> to be precise. Mm -hmm. I'm just used to the moogles in Kingdom Hearts, which I think are a little skinnier, if I remember correctly. I think so. <laughs> May I introduce to you my fledgling post moogle charge, Pukti Puck Pico, and her loyal chocobo. Uh, oh, oh dear, this is rather awkward. I confess your friend's name has slipped my mind, Kupo. <laughs> Salutations, one and all. As for my chocobo, his name can't have slipped your mind, because he hasn't one. <laughs> I refer to him simply as my partner dear, or when I'm feeling particularly silly, bird. <laughs> well, the poor chocobo. <laughs> bird. I love bird. Bird. We love bird. <laughs> Many an acquaintance of mine has attempted to provide him a name or two, but none of them ever stick. Or, should I say, I always forget them. <laughs> In any case, you may call him whatever you like. It makes no difference, least of all to him. Wait, wait, Roy, you get to spray paint Moogles in Crystal Chronicles? Nani? <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds way too ridiculous and I love it. <gasps> the friendly chocobo says, Que, que. <laughs> Can we ride him? Or her? Or them? I don't care. Can we ride them? <laughs> yes, well, that be that as it may, I have tasked put Puck T. God. Puck T. Pico with three deliveries, all of which I would ask you to join her on. These two are to accompany me? Very well. Who am I to turn away, whoever you are? Our first stop is the Carpenter's Guild. Bird and I shall await you there. Bird. Bird. I love bird. bird. We love bird. <laughs> Astrid is like, yeah, I guess we'll do this. <laughs> Let's Astrid's get this like, over with. I hate that I got roped into this. Oh my god, it's a bigger crowd. I understand why you left, Ellie. That cloud got huge while we were doing the cutscene. It, it, it is not even loading properly for me. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah, get out of there. Um, where do we need to go? Um, I assume you've already done this quest, Ellie. <laughs> Now the real question is, where do we go? Um, I'm just putting the map on. Guild. Give me a second. Oh, I see where we have to go. Oh, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> I think I'm going the right way. I'll see you there. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're ever getting Kentucky Fried Chocobo, right? <laughs> I don't think that uh, that is an option. Ah, but what about Chocobo Racers? 
Ma? <laughs> the, the Chocobo Kart game. You mean the one coming out or the one yeah. that's already out? <laughs> the oh, one Chocobo Grand Prix, gotcha, gotcha. It looks so good, actually. Very, it's, I actually it's... really want that. <laughs> Probably be pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie, I actually really want Chocobo Grand Prix. <laughs> Did you see what they did there with Cloud? <laughs> I did not. I have not seen much about it. Um, Cloud is part of the Season 1 Season Pass, so you have to play during Season 1 to get Cloud. Ah. Uh... I'm here, by the way. Where are you? Oh, you're already here. Damn. Yeah, I'm already you're here. You're faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I've, I've been taking a good look at Bird. <laughs> Bird. Oh, the recipient is out on an errand or some such. A pity. As for the parcel, well, since no one is available to take it, I say we just leave it in the old place. There are other assignments to be getting on with, after all. I say, hold on there a moment. I'm no post mogul granted, but merely abandoning a package like this before a door seems a touch disrespectful, does it not? What we have here is a gift, an item crafted with love and care. It deserves to be treated as such. Who is this from, exactly? A young woman, if memory serves, daughter to the man meant to receive this. Oh yes, there was something about her training at the Culinarians Guild, I think? My memory is hazy. Uh, we, we ought to make, the to delivery. make the delivery in person. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't want anyone to steal it. Hmm, you make an interesting point. The man is out on the errand, yes? And since he is with the Carpenters Guild, it stands to reason he is out collecting lumber, and for the Botanist Guild, like is not. We shall start our search there, as for, for uh, Valentione's gift must be delivered straight into the recipient's hands. Is that a rule? Apparently. Or, or are you just being bird. picky? Bird, bird, uh, okay. bird went that way. Where am I running now? That's the real question. Okay, I we are going the right way. I don't know exactly where this is. Okay, I've, okay, this is the right way. I've, I've nice. learned that if you just click on the, the task that you're trying to do, it'll show you where it is on the map. <laughs> oh, perfect. And you can just follow the map. I think I was doing the more complicated version of putting it up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, if you, if you just click on the next, the current task, it'll just show you where it is on the map compared to you. It's very convenient. It's really? It brings up the quest menu first and then you can open the map. Hmm, doesn't do that for me. I, I guess because my map is already open, maybe? Maybe? Aha, uh -huh. here we are. Oh yeah, I have a sprint spell. I totally remember that. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Alright. A delivery for you, sir. You weren't at the guild when you came calling, so we took the liberty of tracking you down. All right, give it here then. Oh, what's all this? Val Valentione's Day Chocolate? Now this is a surprise. My daughter is an apprentice at the Culinarians Guild, you see. I'd heard she'd been selected to make the chocolates for the festivities this year, but I certainly didn't respect to expect to receive any myself. And how, wonderf and how wonderful that you did. It is not every, one, every day one's daughter is accorded the honor of crafting such a beloved confectionery. She must be quite the culinarian. That she is. My pride and joy, that girl. What a pleasant surprise this package was. Certainly made my day. Can't thank you enough for bringing it all the way out here to like you have. I'll never forget this kindness. <laughs> Alright. Goodness. Well, that's one. Two more to go. Seems like a bit of an overreaction, overreaction of being handed some food, doesn't it? <laughs> that's what savvy post moogles <laughs> call customer satisfaction, Koopo. I'm answer the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. There's a lesson to be learned here, Putki. Pukti. Joy is not meant to be kept to oneself. It is feeling that it yearns to be shared. As we played a part in bringing him happiness, so it is little wonder that he wishes to share his felicity with us. So joy is meant to be shared. Hmm. Well, when you put it that way, I suppose that's not so foreign a concept. When something makes me smile or laugh, I do tend to talk to my companion's ear off about it, and I'm often made the happier for it. Bird! Quee! Bird! <laughs> but enough about that. Time is wasting. Best be off on our next delivery. The recipient awaits at the Whistling Miller, by the looks of it. 
away they slowly walk, but yet they'll get there before we do running. Oh, and it's right, it's actually really close. Yeah. I was gonna teleport, but then I realized, oh, it's just over there. Yep. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna be getting some holiday quests that aren't in Gridania. I, I kind of doubt it at this point in time. <laughs> God, everyone and their sister is talking to this uh, Pukti. Of course, because it's a Valentine's event. <laughs> Pardon me, but I have a delivery for you, ma'am. For me? Oh, it's from one of my dearest companions. And look what they've sent. Pink seashells. Are they not extraordinary? Look at their vibrancy. Ah, and a card. Happy Valentione's Day. How drab. I mean, delightful. <laughs> <laughs> so it just says happy Val like They just picked it up at, a, at Fantasy Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> shells. Of course they did. Empty ones? You can't even eat those. At least the other fellow received chocolate. P P Pukti? This is, that is abominably rude. You must forgive our friend here. She is not accustomed to delivery such as these. There's nothing to forgive, I assure you. I could hardly be upset about receiving a gift like this and from a loved one I've not seen in quite some time. My friend, you see, is an adventurer in their own right. They enjoy being cryptic, though, and never outright tell me where they have been. Rather, they make me guess by dropping hints in the form of curiosities such as these. What a blessing their parcel is. I was only just wondering how they were faring and uh, where their journeys have brought them. Thank you, Post Moogle. You have brightened my day. <laughs> Love is a mystery indeed, and a funny one at that. <laughs> it is my pleasure to tell you, Pukti, that a love is a many splendored thing, and we each have our own unique way of expressing it. The friendship between that girl and her adventurer companion is a perfect example. That gift, which appears mere frippery to you, was a treasure in her eyes. I like I like how we could either chime in with more advice or just be like I wonder who I wonder where they are. I bet it's Lanosia. <laughs> I mean it definitely is Lanosia. Perhaps her friend is in Lanosia. It's Lanosia. not even up to debate. I just like the idea that we're we're not even like concerned about this conversation. We're just thinking about what we've been we've been trying to figure out the puzzle of where she was where the adventure has been this entire time. Of course. We're just that, completely that's the ignoring. Point. Just completely ignoring the conversation. Nah, I'm gonna go with the advice. <laughs> I suspect you may be right. Outside of a few specialty traders, seashells of that quality and color cannot easily be found in the landlocked regions of the realm, after all. So you mean to say, this is her friend's way of telling that young woman about that all is well? Their way of assaging the, any worries that she might be harboring about their safety? Hmm, how fascinating. <laughs> to be sure, were I to be separated from my bird here by expansive seas or vast mountain ranges, I would like to hear from him from time to time. Perhaps not every day. That would be irksome. But to know that he's in good health would not altogether disagreeable, I suppose. Bird. Quee! I love bird. Anywho, no sense in losing ourselves in thought. Not when a parcel sits burning a hole in my satchel. Kupo. Our next delivery takes us to Apkula Fall. Ap Apkalu Falls. Let's away. Way away. Right. Time for the next delivery. It's and really it's close up. by again. Yes, nice. it's up here. Love to see it. The go faster button. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, sir. I have uh, here uh, for you here a parcel from one of Ulda's pre preeminent art dealers, Kupo. At last, her earrings have arrived. Goodness gracious, how stunning they are. This craftsmanship, this meticulous attention to detail. I couldn't have hoped for a better present for my wife. She'll be over the moon to receive them. Her birthday is coming up, you see, and I wanted to ensure her special day is just that. I've even given Koopa, Koopka Koop's palm a vigorous pat. I hear tell that one touch is enough to bring a couple happiness for all their years to come. Let us hope so. You did well in bringing all the, these all the way out here without a scratch on them, you know? I'd begun to worry that by the time I received them, the poor things would be nothing more than scuffed, dented rocks. You've got a bright future ahead of you in the Postal Service, friends. Thank you. <laughs> a bright future of dumping parcels in front of buildings, apparently. Yeah. 
Now this is odd. There's a flutter in my chest and a tickle in my stomach. Kupo, have I taken ill or do compliments and words of gratitude always elicit this sort of response? Trust me when I say you are not ill, poop tea. The flatter you feel, those ticklish sensations you described, that is fondness, a form of love indeed. And it was made manifest by that man's appreciation for what you provided. <laughs> oh, this love nonsense. Why, it isn't nonsense at all, is it? It's quite wonderful, actually. I liken it to that feeling when the, my bird and I settle down for an afternoon nap in the Twelve's Wood. When I tuck myself under his wing and we are warned by the sunlight breaking through the trees. Bird. Bird. We love bird. Perhaps you haven't mastered the concept entirely, but I do believe we are making strides in the right direction. You certainly seem more attuned to the ways of the heart than when we first made your acquaintance, at any rate. Now that all three parcels have reached the right hands, let us return to Mi Keto's amphitheater. No doubt Kupka Koop is anxious to know that Pukti fared. How Pukti fared. Surely that wasn't the entire quest, right? I have a feeling this might have been the entire quest. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, but... <laughs> If that's the case, at least we have a lot of time for our Canaan Guild quest. Yeah, exactly. A couple, uh, yeah. several hours. I have sprint. I forgot about that. Not that we really need it. I love the music around there. Oh lord, it's busy. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> How do I even click on the person? You get behind them. Here they are, Should our I... agents of affection. <laughs> Our heralds of You're heart. You're in the way now. Oh, rip. I okay, can't there move. we go. I got it. <laughs> Returned at last and not before time, Kupo. Tell me, how went your deliveries? Splendid, each and every one. The recipients were all thrilled to receive their parcels, and I'm pleased to say Pukti Pico learned something all along the way. Yes, I do believe I did. Love is, well, it's quite a bit more complicated than I first imagined it to be. There are hidden depths to it, ones I didn't see before. I may not be an expert on the subject yet, but I would like to think my ignorance is not quite as dire as it once was. You are making progress, certainly. I am glad of it. And just so long as you did not offend anyone, I could not ask for more. Anywho, I am indebted to you, Astrid. Ian, you have spared at least three citizens of the realm for potential cruelty, however unintended it may have been. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's some heavy stakes right there. Absolutely. No, I'm being too harsh, Pukti. You have shown a true concerted effort to understand the labyrinthine complexities of the heart, and as a reward, I'm inclined to send you on another task. For in truth, your work is not yet finished. Oh. Oh, no. Much more is there to be done this Valentine's Day, Kupo, and when you have the time, speak with me again, I shall tell you all about it. The stakes for this quest were so much higher, by the way, than the Halloween event where everyone was about to die. Yeah. Of course, we have another quest. Love's Labors. Oh, no. Doing the, the 13 labors of Hercules, but for love. Of course. <laughs> there you Why are. Not? And on a moment too soon, your unwavering devotion to the ways of ardor and affection, love and romance, courtship and intimacy is both commendable and deeply appreciated. So, to the task of which I spoke, it involves a woman by the name of Alois, who only just posted a parcel with no small amount of urgency. However, she then returned, begging us to call off its delivery. A highly unusual request. In her eyes, twin pools of sorrow, Kupo. She fled straight away, ere I could even get my bearings, let alone ask what troubles her, so. Will you help me seek her out? You are too kind. Now as for this young woman, she is Elizin. Uh, she is an Elizin of great beauty, and thus should not be an easy one to overlook. Last I saw of her, she had just made a sharp left at the fork of the road, unless my eyes deceive me. I would like to say it is very easy to overlook people in this area. That's true. To the left, you say. That way lies the Great Lone Gowry of Growry, if I'm not mistaken. I will come to you there, Koopka Koop. Wait, did, did I just see a small dragon flying around? Maybe. And I see a white tiger. I, I love minions. <laughs> dwarf rabbit. Look at the dwarf rabbit. I haven't seen the dwarf red. It's right beside you. <laughs> Where? Oh, there it is! It's cute. Ian, Pukti Pico, you two will look near Nafika's altar. Uh, should you come upon her before we do, come find us at the Growry. I love There's the Growry. Shiba Inu. Yeah. They're all so cute. 
I want to look around where the minions. There's literally a tiny dragon. And a white a tiger, dwarf rabbit. For a second there, I thought they were combined. It was, it was like a, a little dragon cat. And I was like, ooh. I wish. I want a little dragon cat. Uh, now where do we go? Um. Um. There we go. Oh, it's in that area. You, okay. Do you actually know where we have to go? Or? Yes, yes I do. I, I was confused at first because it wasn't a quest marker. What the hell? Let's play region rule. That's weird. Okay, I guess we have to oh, go there it is. over this bridge to get it. to the point where we can do it. Yeah, it's not it's not an actual it. quest marker, it's just an area to find her in. Like with one yeah, of those yeah, quests. Yeah, yeah. I was confused I by the bridge because I was like, how do, how do I go down? I'm going up. I don't want to go down. <laughs> oh, it's just. I'm on right, my way over. Literally just right there as soon as you come across the corner. Come around the corner. I'm still on my way over. <laughs> <laughs> and me is a little bit slow. <laughs> we head over here now. Okay, apparently we got an achievement for that. Okay, sick. Cool. Hell yeah. Um, We're also getting extra experience easy points. Easy quest around here that I don't need or want. Now, where is the actual quest? It's over here. Find me. <laughs> on the map. Over here isn't very descriptive. Just, just look for me on the map and ignore Ellie. <laughs> Or unless Ellie's coming to find you and drag you. <laughs> I am totally not struggling with the map. I have no idea where you are. I don't even see you on the map. Where have you ended up? <laughs> that is a good question. Yeah, that's Ellie. Oh, you can hover over <laughs> the dots and figure out who they are. I don't see a dot. <laughs> yeah, because you're in a completely different area, it looks like. Are you in New Gridania instead of Old Gridania? I am in the... Why the hell did I go out here? <laughs> <laughs> I may have read too far. Rip. I am just gonna say that right now. <laughs> Yo, you, I'm looking at your stream. You're outside. You, you need to get back into Gridania. <laughs> yeah, I realized that one. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have gotten slightly... <laughs> I am not as good as nav at navigating the map here. Uh, I The tables have turned. I am the navigator. You are the follower. <laughs> <laughs> the turns have tabled. <laughs> Where do I actually have to be now, though? <laughs> All right, just follow to find me. I'm, I'm right next to her. It's like towards the south of Old Gridania. Oh. How did I not see that? <laughs> well, I feel slightly dumb now. <laughs> um, yeah. This happened. <laughs> where, where are you going? <laughs> I am here now. <laughs> All right. Who, me? Yes, I am Alois. Why do you ask? You letters Alois. It could be Alois. That's like an actual name, right? <laughs> Instead of Alois. Alois. I'll go with Alois. Kupka Koop wants to see me, you say? But whatever for? He's beside himself with worry, Kupo. He told us you turned tail and darted off looking dreadfully stricken. Downright remorse. You can understand his concerns, certainly. I see. I owe him an apology for worrying him as I have. And an explanation for my frantic flight as well. Kupka's still at me catch his amphitheater, right? I'll go to him at once. Well, not anymore. He's looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's actually the plot. Actually, he... Never mind, she's already gone. I suppose I'll go... I should go and fetch him then, shall I? Meet us at the Bored. amphitheater, Ian. Do hurry. We wouldn't want her dashing off again. Alright, I guess I'll hurry. Friend included, of course. 
to make sure I know where we're going. There we go. I'm loving this feature that I've just discovered where you can click and find where you're supposed <laughs> to go. <laughs> Very useful, I'm sure. Yeah. It is even busier now. God damn. That is not the person I want to click on. Now I got it. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, oh. Maybe we'll start getting some story here. Oh, this music is good. First, let me start by saying how grateful I am that you would think to come and check on me. The truth of the matter is, I received an offer of marriage. I meant to accept, which is why I came to you initially, Kupka, to see that my reply would be delivered safely. However, as I was writing to tell him yes, I found myself hesitating more than I ought to have been. I began to wonder if I was making a terrible decision, not only for me, but for him as well. Ooh, I do not like the close-up on the kind of grainy texture. <laughs> Yeah. The man. Maybe that's just my graphic settings, though. The man who seeks my it's heart. It's both of ours. Yeah. The man who seeks my <laughs> hand is of Ishgardian nobility and goes by the name Ez Ezalmiel. Maybe her name is Alois, then. <laughs> I forgot these names. <laughs> At the moment, he is. Well, he is quite ill and is seeking treatment here in Gridania. Do not misunderstand me. I was overjoyed to hear of his devotion. A life spent with him would be a no most wonderful thing. But I'm no noble. I'm of the most common stock, no more special than a weed underfoot. I wasn't raised with the aristocratic manners a future wife of his requires. Who am I to marry into nobility? I must destroy my pre previous missive and pen in a new letter, one telling him I can't go through with it, but that one I'll hand deliver. I won't have an is emissary of love delivering such ill tidings. Everyone's sad, except for me. I'm kind of just standing there. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it's this bugle that starts talking again. Yay. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert in the ways of the heart, but isn't love and desire to be someone forever and on? The desire for a trusted partner in this world? Someone with whom you can share your joys and your woes? If you care for him, be with him. Wouldn't it upset you to do anything but? It certainly seems so. Or it certainly seems to have. I may not have had much experience with this, but I know that were I and my chocobo to be separated, I wouldn't like it. Not one bit. I don't believe giving up is a solution, Kupo. Verily, I myself am of Ishgardian nobility and can speak, thus speak from a place of authority. Each of our houses has its own traditions. It is our titles that connect us, not our principles. Before making your decision, seek the counsel of your beloved and learn what his family values. I could not agree more. And af after all, it is doubt you harbor, not a lack of affection. If you believe his heart to be yours entire, then trust that he will listen to your troubles, that you and he can solve them together. Why not send one more letter? Explain what it is that vexes you. Yes, I see your point. It's unfair of me to hide my feelings like this. He's owed my honesty. But how does one even write such a letter? I wouldn't know where to begin. Perhaps you should explain your apprehension about fulfilling your duties as wife to a man of a great house. Make it clear that should you decide to join his social milieu, you will require time to study, learn, and train before you are comfortable. A word of warning, though. To compromise the very woman you are in order to bend to, his rigor to the rigorous of nobility may leave you jaded, haggard, and altogether infuriated. Thus I suggest you inquire as to whether his family is capable of accepting you as you are. Why not simply write down all your worries? I don't fancy myself a poet of passions, or what have you, but there's something to be said for getting everything out in the open. All of the ideas have great, a great deal of merit, and each should be given due consideration. Ian, what say you? Which of these notions is stark accord with you? Um. Make clear. I'm going for either the second or third. Yeah, I'm going with the second one. <laughs> make clear that you yeah, won't compromise who you are. One. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him and Kinda. his family. <laughs> More so his family, I think. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thank you for your insight, everyone. I believe I know uh, what I must do. Then let us fetch you parchment quill and ink. Fortunate that you have us for, y for uh, you know, for we and Miss Ceres are never far from instruments of the post. 
Why, I shall even provide you with a Valentine's Day, Valentione's Day, sorry, themed stationery. <laughs> Valentione. Valentione. <laughs> Why are we Italian all of a sudden? <laughs> Hey, that's the matter for you. It's a Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, paisanos, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my god. There, it's done. Now all that's left is for him to read it. My darling is likely in the gentry's ward. I know that he enjoys sitting in solitude on a bench not far from the gates. He'll be there like as not. Then that's where we shall try first. We will be back with his response as soon as we are able. Tally ho, bird! Love's work awaits. Quee! Bird! <laughs> bird! Bird! I want, I want that outfit for my chocobo. He's gonna be bird. He didn't even have a chocobo. I know, but I'm gonna have a chocobo. Oh, we have to speak with her again. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, was, I was already on the way out. <laughs> oh dear, I'm so fidgety. I just can't sit still for nerves. No, I can't take this any longer. I refuse to stand idly by while my future is decided without me. That does it. I'm going to the Gentry's Ward this instant. Oh. Okay. Drama. <laughs> Alois, and you she's can't. Gone. And she's gone. <laughs> and she's gone. <laughs> and she's gone. And she's gone. Our duty as emissaries of love and affection demand that we see that love lorn last through this trying time. I shall meet you at the gates of Gentry's Ward. It is so laggy Run, there. Runs away. <laughs> little we little, little legs running away. Oh, <laughs> uh, All right, I need to Mike, click on the thing and find out where we're going. game is freezing a little bit. Ooh. I don't even think it's the fall of the stream or anything. I think it's just that area. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. That's my guess, at least. Okay, it's this way. It, it, it's so far away that the map was having trouble. I, I was like, I couldn't see myself. Oh, it's on all the, the way map. at the top. I got it. Yeah. That but makes I, a lot more I, sense. I, when I clicked on it, I couldn't see myself on the map. So I was like, am I going the right way? I think I am. Ellie's coming to show us the way. Thank you, Ellie. She knows that way. <laughs> Sorry, that was too fast. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Here she is. <laughs> why is it so busy here? Oh wait, I already know why. Yeah, because it's full of little children. <laughs> It's a whole cutscene. Nice. So I'm sorry to have run off again like that, but I just couldn't wait around twiddling my thumbs another moment more. <laughs> there the Moogles and the Chocobo are talking to this guy. <laughs> we have for you a letter from when Miss Alloys herself, Kupo. Kupo. <laughs> Ellie says, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV during hype events. This event doesn't seem very <laughs> hype, honestly. <laughs> the Not Halloween really. one seems hype. The music is good, but mm -hmm. it doesn't seem very hype. Although a dapper chocobo is pretty nice. True. A missive from my love. Thank you kindly, post moogles. <laughs> post moogles is such a funny word. Post moogles. <laughs> I'm fake reading this letter. I don't know how to read. <laughs> oh, he's really gonna read the whole letter <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it's not my place, but if I may Alois thinks a great deal of you We watched her as she wrote that letter Now you, you now hold And we can see plain as day how much she cares for you If there's love to be found in this world It's there, in every word she has to put on that page Bird. <laughs> The heart and its intricacies aren't my forte, I admit but if, you even, if you've even half as much affection for her as she has for you, then what you two share is something wondrous. I can only hope that you both weather whatever troubles come your way. The heart is in my forte indeed. For one who claims such a thing, you show remarkable pers... Perscapa... <laughs> Perspicacity? 
in the matter? I don't know that word. What does that even mean? Uh, obviously it means uh, insight of some kind. You are quite changed from the Moogle I once knew. Color me impressed, Kupo. You are good to concern yourselves over my and Elise's affairs. Your kindness does you a good deal of credit. <laughs> oh, she's right there. I better choose my words carefully. At least this time they realize, like last time with the clown. Yeah! <laughs> the fucking clown's just like inches away. Oh, yeah, I will we'll keep a lookout uh, to arrest them. <laughs> Literally like, one yard away. away. <laughs> I shall pen my response this instant. Can I trust that you will deliver it straight to her once I've finished? We serve at your pleasure. Your trust is not misplaced in Asgard, sir. He didn't notice me, did he? <laughs> of course he did. Did you hear that? He's going to reply. We should return to Mii Keto's amphitheater at once. I don't want to be here when he sent our post moogle friends all the way back there. Fair. What a small lady. <laughs> yes, it would be rather awkward if his letter to have, were to have no recipient. Let us explain the situation to Lee Set and wait for Poop Pukti and Kupta's, Kupka's return. Pah. Tongue twister names. Tongue twister names all everywhere. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. I guess so, yeah. Speak with Lee Set. Okay, that's back down. Yeah, these uh, these holiday events are just uh, travel all around Gridania so far. <laughs> so far? <laughs> back and uh, forth. At least, the, at least the clown had a, had a cool... Um, Dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, is there gonna be a dungeon we can raid? I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> it seems like that's the way the that you would have you would have to have one so that you could grind uh points to get all the rewards. Here's the thing, this time the rewards are only the chocobo armor and um some de wall decoration. Yeah. Unlike last time where we had to grind for an entire outfit. Yeah. God damn, so many people. This is way. This is not good for my FPS. <laughs> <laughs> Our eminent emissary of adoration and affection is with us once more, and now that we are assembled, we only have we have only to wait for the custodians of Ezumiel's reply. I feel sick to my stomach. What if I've angered him? What if he calls off the whole engagement? Yeah, that seems likely. <laughs> Totally. Mm -hmm. We have returned, and with your beloved pe beloved's painstakingly pen, post, and paw. That's another thing. They love alliteration. Yeah. This, this, this game just loves alliteration. Absolutely. A small smile. What could it mean? Reading. I took your words to heart, Lee said, and I'm glad that I did. He writes me to say that he adores me for the woman I am, and that he would never push me to be anything less. He tells me I have a quality that is all my own, one that no other could ever hold a candle to, which is why he fell head over heels for me in the first place. His life here is a good one, one he's come to enjoy, so much so that he's even considered moving to Gridania permanently. I suppose there really isn't any need to worry about joining the Upper Crust, is there? I have come to ensure my letter has reached you, and see if you have yet read it. After all, you did the same for me. It would be unkind to not return the favor, no? Boom! I Got her! This. Got her! Call in 4K! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gods, how embarrassing. You caught me spying on you, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> You're embarrassed? <laughs> for what, pray? I found it endearing, my darling. Uh, these companions of yours, did they not assist you in your writing me? Then we are in your debt. And I have a dungeon for you to go to. No, <laughs> I hope so, but I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't think there's a dungeon. Oh, please kiss. I want to see what a kiss looks like in fucking Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> please do. Eloise, my love, what say you to tea at the Carline canopy? There we can discuss our future. A conversation which is long overdue, I should think. Tea. Nope. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. Thank that you. was very weird. Thank you, my friends. Where would I be without your help? And I promise, yours will be the first invitation to be posted when we settle on the day. 
Do Moogles get invited to weddings a lot because they're the ones that deliver the wedding invitations? Probably, to be honest. <laughs> I think so. How how can the uh, the Valentiones de Mugle, Moogle like have time to visit to visit all the weddings? <laughs> I mean, I presume the weddings aren't actually on the Valentiones day. Yeah, but I, there's like a lot of them, I imagine. Yeah, but if they're not all on the same day, it should be relatively easy. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, <laughs> do my eyes des deceive me? Pukti Pico, your palm. Oh, it's a heart palm now. Aww. Why, it's adopted the very shape of the season and is lovely beyond compare, Kupo. And tis a much of a muchness with mine, or I, so I flatter myself to think. I can't rightly explain it, but seeing those two brought a flutter to my chest, a spring to my wings, and the next thing I knew, my palm began to tingle in the most peculiar of ways. It's such that a marvelous. so wrong out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Watching those two got me horny. <laughs> oh God. It's just such a marvelous thing to know that we had a hand in ushering Ezemil and Aloise's story into the next chapter, and to think it was all performed strictly through the art of the post. <laughs> this is, this is the, 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 the mesh, true message of this story is the, the importance of the post office. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's what it seems like. <laughs> Affectionate missives are more than just a silly fodder all I assume them to be. I see now that they show what's in our hearts like nothing else can, and we emissaries are their true custodians, or trusted custodians. That we are, Pukti. No, you're just an assistant, Astrid. Get out of here. <laughs> Only do we remember that Get letters out of here. <laughs> require more than just love. They are also in need of names and addresses. And speaking of names, perhaps you might bestow one on a certain chocobo. His name is Bird. Uh, think of it as a Bird. show of not only kindness, but of love, too. A show of love, you say? I suppose you're right. I was never able to recall the names given by my Moogle acquaintances, but I bet I could arrive at something that actually sticks. I'll give it some thought. Make sure I've done this Bird justice. Bird. Quack, quack! My once foolish fledgling has wings of her own at last. How proud I am to see you soar. You are a credit to the emissaries of ardor and affection with your heart-shaped palm. It is my most sincerest honor to have you among our ranks, and I pray that you will continue this most revered work. I would love nothing more, Kupo. Get off my screen, Ladybug. <laughs> what? There was a Ladybug on my screen. Nice. Uh, here in the southern United States, we have well, they're, technically they're like lady beetles, I believe is what they're, what they're called. They're not like true ladybugs. They're like an Asian variety that's an invasive species right. here, uh, and they invade your homes during the winter in like that, ma uh, masses of them. Yeah, it's horrible. That sucks. They uh, they're also related to stink bugs, so they also stink when oh, you crush no. them. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, so you can't like even <laughs> you gotta like flick them. You can't just kill them. <laughs> Because otherwise you stink. Damn. What joy to be blessed with so many couriers, and in this season of su uh, sublimity, no less. Tis heartening indeed to watch our numbers grow and grow, for with so many we can endure, uh, ensure that ardor and affection accompany all the fair creatures of this realm, wherever their journeys take them. God, there's, they really... There's the, ch there's the chocobo armor. They really do be have saying words. They really do be saying words. We, uh, we got the chocobo armor post already. post Moogle barding post Moogle barding well, I think we're done with the event. Yeah. Um, and that now, was a little underwhelming. <laughs> Lisa's like, and now you've unlocked the uh, dungeon. Go go fight in the dungeon. I, I, I wish. Oh, we could talk to... Uh, Pukti Pico oh, and then the you get the prismatic hearts. Let's just do that real quick. Yeah. Can't take very long. Ian, I knew you would come. You're a marvelous, you are a marvelously convenient talent for appearing when we're in need, don't you? Anywho, trouble's afoot. Word has spread of our previous endeavors, which under normal circumstances would be cause for celebration, but not so today. We've been inundated with letters from across the realm, entreating our aid with all manner of vexations. Oh, our no. fellows have left me here alone to field these pleas, but I can't see to all of this by myself. Please, won't you assist me in bringing succor to the hearts of the weary? I made a titty, tidy list of those who have written to us. No need to see to their troubles in any particular order, mind you. Just try not to let a request slip through the cracks, yes? Okay, so this oh, is like this a... There's gonna be a very long list. 
Uh, but, which one are we choosing first? <laughs> um, emissary of pen passion. Sure. Just go through the get them in order. Sure. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh no. Oh god, is, are we? Are there gonna be cutscene for all of these? Oh no. <laughs> You would see to what plagues my heart. Oh, it's her. It's there. <laughs> she's the oh. first. You are far too goodly, Ian. I confess that Alois's, Alois's joyful union touched me in a way most unexpected. It sparked within me jealousy of all things. For in her heart, I saw reflected my own desire. Oh, boy. Nice. Yes, tis true. I am here to speak of my own beloved, the man with whom I wish to spend all my days and nights, the very gentleman to whom I am betrothed. One, Sir Hortifence. Hortifence! Hortifence! You know, it's Hortifence. Hortifence. <laughs> uh, the festiv festivities have, us, have run us both off our feet, leaving us not a, a spare moment to while away together as we once did. It vexes me terribly, yet I cannot speak of it to him. I would flush like a schoolgirl and tie my tongue in knots. Instead, I mean to pour my woes on the parchment. Oh, this explains a great deal. At first, I couldn't understand what was upsetting you, but now it's clear as crystal to me. Right then, on to this letter. First, what style should she write it in? Hmm. Uh, obviously, paragraphs and poems as her as her want. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking face. <laughs> and how should she word her vexations? Uh, forthrightly? <laughs> seems, sure. as good, seems as good as any to me. Let's go for it. <laughs> there, tis done. For better or worse, the missus has penned. And all that remains is its delivery, which I will attend to right away. Oh, we don't even have to deliver it. That's Hell yeah. more it's convenient. Just, it's just free cutscenes. That's convenient. Goodness me. No sooner had her Horton fence read your letter than he made a beeline for the nearest door to race to your side, Lisa. It was all I could do to keep him from stampeding through the streets. A small miracle he had presence of mind to even hold a pen. Uh, how many times are we doing this because it gives the same rewards each time? Um, I don't know, maybe just one of each of them? Probably. I don't even know if we have to do the entire list or if you just get the reward after the set. Why do you dance around the issue at hand? Be plain with me or I'll never understand. Heavens, perhaps it would be more wiser to come be more forthcoming about my issues. I said to be oh, more shit. forthcoming. Uh, two seconds, I'm being raided. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, Brennan. How are you all doing? Let me just shout you out real quick because I don't think any of my mobs are here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know one of them's streaming right now. <laughs> yeah, and the other one I don't think is awake. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Beneficial. You were playing Xenoblade. Welcome. How was that? <laughs> oh, well, Xenoblade. Welcome, Brennan. Welcome, Incog. How are you both doing? Also, oh. I really hope that I really wish this event had a dungeon. Yeah, well. Well, Dungeons irrespective, are so nice, irrespective of this non-committal answer I've received, I'm grateful to you for advising me in this manner. Or matter. I did. I did tell her to be forthcoming. So uh, his criticism is completely uh, addressed by me. Your assistance has proven positively indispensable, Ian. If you have the time for an incl inclination, do come by again. There's always more to be done, after all. Do we get the reward for this? Yep. I don't think we have to do the other ones then, to be honest. Yeah, we don't have to. It's just if we want to get the um, stories. Oh well, uh, I think it's time to get back to uh, the Minsa then for the Arcanus Guild. Yeah, let's just um, go over to the... I guess the house Valentione made. That's the store for this one. Where would that be? Uh, it's right outside the thing. Right. There it is, gotcha. Yeah. Found it. So. 
I want to volunteer on a mobile. Six thousand? Yeah, it's like actually the actual currency rather than like. Do I want to buy that? I don't know. Do I want to buy that? I. I only have ten thousand kill. Yeah, yeah, I have eleven thousand. Um, I'm not sure. I don't it. really want to pay six thousand for that. Yeah, I think I'll leave it. <laughs> Ellie's doing all four of the uh, events for the Halloween one. Or not Halloween, Valentine's. Gee, I wonder why I said <laughs> Halloween. I wonder why. Maybe because it was two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I love Halloween Valentine's Day. <laughs> Same. God, I want to choke a bows now so I can give him my new cup. I'm standing costume. in the fire of hearts. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Seems, uh, seems dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess necessary. let's head to... Well, back to Limsa Liminsa. I don't know how to head back to Limsa Liminsa, because there's not a handy thing. You just click return. Oh, right. <laughs> Because we are still most synchronized with the uh, Limbs Lim Sub one. Yeah, I forgot about that. I did too, to be honest with you. I did too for a bit. <laughs> Ellie says, I swear this quest is just about writing other people boring letters. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's much Valentine's what Day. it is, yeah. That's Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate that you're not wrong. <laughs> It's, it's about going to the Hallmark store and buying a card. <laughs> the Aethernet get me to oh, yeah. we the can Arcane just teleport Skills. right there. Hello? There we go. Aethernet. Um, Arcanist Guild. <laughs> I'm doing well, though. I uh, hope everyone's having a good time in chat. Um... I am just gonna be right back in two seconds, though. <laughs> right, it's the door across the hall from it. So just two seconds, everyone. I'll be right back, chat. <sighs> you now have 40 of the reward. Yeah, if you do it four times, you will have 40 of the reward. I, I was stretching there. If you like me, the idea of me stretching and you want to make me do it, um, you can accumulate the channel points that we have. Um, it's it's not through Twitch's platform, um, so if you want to do them, you have to like use uh, commands in the chat. You can find the commands uh, down below uh, in the Twitch thing. You get one channel point for every minute you watch. Uh, they're called blood vials. Uh, and you can check how many you have, and all the sorts of stuff like that. And then you can spend them on doing redeems, like any other channel point system. So, uh, yeah. Also, if you do if you do a clip, you get uh, a 100, or was it 500? I don't. How many did I get? Of, I Haru. I think I give Haru 100 for doing for making a clip. So if you if you make a clip and then you show it to me, I will give you 100 channel points in my. Uh, in my system, because I can just give them to you, unlike the current Twitch system. <laughs> so yeah, incentives to make clips. Um, let's see here. While Sophie's gone, let's start figuring out what we're doing here for the. Limsa Um Tactical planning? Is this... That's that one. What is... Quests? Um... Hello?
I just want to know what the next uh, <clears throat> Arcanist quest is. Maybe I don't have it yet. Check around. See if there's anyone with an exclamation part abo point above their head. possible you know you never know all right Ellie we'll see you in a little bit then <clears throat> pardon me I wish I had a bottle of water next to me but I do not because I'm a fool I am back welcome we are back once again chat let's go I'm trying to figure and out. And now, where, where we was the arcane skill? Oh, yeah, it was a fruited door, right? Yes. D we already got a quest from her, didn't we? Maybe. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what one it is. Duty, journal. It's tactical planning. Is it? Okay. I think it is. Yeah, it's tactical planning. All right, that's in the that one case. Lead. And the middle alone. Okay, I'm just going to teleport to the Summerford Farms. All right. <laughs> I have no will to walk all the way over there. <laughs> I will accept the teleport. <laughs> you can teleport us next time. <laughs> Actually, one second, I'm going to hide my cursor on the game capture, because I don't like that. That's the wrong source. Fair. Final Fantasy properties. Let me just hide the cursor real quick. I like that more. <laughs> Fair. If you get what I mean. <laughs> and now we can cast Sprint again. I can't wait for the Batmobile to fly by again or something. <laughs> we always you know find the Batmobile around here, yeah. <laughs> we always find the Batmobile here. It's not even funny. It always happens around that farm. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't know the, why. The Batmobile owner lives around there or something. Maybe. I don't think there's any actual purchasable houses around yeah, here. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Did Ellie just run by on a chocobo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. Wish it could be me. <laughs> <laughs> I want a chocobo. How do we get a chocobo? Ellie feels out of place being a ninja in a in the Arcanist guild. What okay. is attacking me? Something is ta Oh, Ellie is fighting something that okay. lots. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Duty calls. Level sync. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to. Uh... Oh, we need to unparty again, don't we? Yep. Oh, I hate this. Yeah. Love it here. All right, that means we're going to have a cutscene. That definitely means we're going to have a cutscene. Without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, but we get the talk with this, the, the cat lady. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> I am Forseer Kilia. Of Mialvin's Gate, you are to cease all transactions and surrender your goods for inspection. Nasty sneaky peekers, Gabi spit up lander nosy eyes on stabby iron. <laughs> sure. A particularly aggressive response. Farewell, Ian. Remember that we discussed. What did we discuss? Uh, fight. <laughs> Beat them to a pulp. That can be accomplished. First, summon the carbuncle. Then fight. I am decimating them. Yeah, they're not uh, particularly dangerous for us at this point. What did them for? Oh, there's more of them. 
You switch to combat pattern 2538, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> evasive maneuver. You could have just said evasive maneuver. I got stunned. <laughs> That's another bad gun. I need to avoid the bombs, apparently. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Makes sense. Where are you? Or not, not you, but her. <laughs> she seems to have disappeared. more of them than I had anticipated. You know, guys, okay, it just dawned on me how, how oh, weird this film stiffen. is. Oh, Stiffin, thank you for the rain. Yeah. I don't Whoa. know why you get a hosting, but uh, they, welcome, that, welcome. That, that's just a general problem right now with Twitch, I believe. No, my, my alert system went with yeah, rain I, instead of Yeah, I think that's a problem with both slobs and stream elements, though. Ah. Well. Where it sometimes counts for raid as a host. Yeah. Because you know, also, when you for raid, anyone it in my chat who isn't following Ian, go check them out. I'm just gonna shout you out right now because I feel like it. And vice versa. But yeah, how was your stream snippet? Okay, I, I typed it correctly. And I, I hope. Well, what were you playing? I hope. I hope it was good. Whatever it was. Nicely done. Adaptation, improvis improvisation. I might have been observing our beloved guildmaster herself or himself. Well, that action. would be quite pathetic if you were, <laughs> if we were the guildmaster. Chaotic first time with a bunch of people in a mogus. Hell yeah. We love a mogus sometimes and sometimes <laughs> not. <laughs> this is a perfect example of how the strategy for a given task should be tailored to the abilities of the assessor. In other words, before you begin formulating your tactics, it is necessary to fully understand your strength, own strengths and weaknesses. On that note, is there another question? There is another question I would ask you. When it comes to improving the probable success of a strategy, do you consider it more effective to concentrate on playing to your own strengths or showing up your weaknesses? Playing to strength. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh ho! Again, you responded the guildmaster once did. I must revise the probability for your potential to attain greatness to ninety-seven percent. You are one to keep an eye on. That much is certain. But to return to the subject of battle plans, your calculations must include an accurate assessment of your available techniques and their relative effectiveness. This requires you to be critically aware of your own limitations, the limits of your allies, and the characteristics of your enemies. I believe that covers everything for today. Please return to the guild and make your report to Mr. Sturbergim. Until we meet again. I shall abide here until the Yellowjack has arrived to take the peddlers into custody. My strategies will keep me company. I, I have some course. bad news for you. <laughs> <laughs> we can't cast return yet. <laughs> ah. Well. So, uh, would you be so kind as to teleport us to the Arcanist Guild? Oh, yeah. Let's do Or that. anywhere in Limza, for that matter. <laughs> um. Looks like it won't let me return us to. Just go to the lower yeah, decks and so the we lower can use the Aphronats. Lower decks. Also, my auto host list. No, it's just because when you when you actually raid someone, it automatically hosts them, uh, and so the thing has to decide whether it's going to do a raid or. Well, it doesn't even necessarily have to decide. It could just do both, but for some reason, it's just doing the host ma message instead of the raid message. Have you teleported yet, by the way? Uh, yes. It did not give me an option to follow. I hate oh, we're this not, game sometimes. We're not in a party. Oh right, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> hey, Ellie, could you send party invites again? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just run over manually for now. <laughs> hey, well. Rip. I'll get there. Let's, uh, let's head over to the... To there little, we go. A little teleport. I'm at the gate, so I'll be there shortly. And I can't jump off the side, because of course I can't. Why would I be able to? Oh, there it is. Making me go all the way around the gate. Of course. Why wouldn't it? Can I go down here at least? Yes, I can. Thank the Lord. Oh. Damn, this took a while. 
Let me guess, you're already in the Arcanist guild. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm already right next to the to the guildmaster. <laughs> I figured as much. Or the guildmaster pro tempore. <laughs> Is Ellie even in Limsa? <laughs> Good question. I didn't think so. I think now... Okay, now Ellie shows up as actually being in here. There's the Arcanist There's guild. There's a flying pig. Flying eggs? Flying pig. A, a flying pig? I need to see this. Where? Where? Well, it just turned into a little tiny land shark, so... I kind of want to see that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that little tiny land shark is from, uh, like, a summer event a couple of years ago. I remember watching uh, Snapcube play it. Oh, it that was, is it was so like adorable! A, it was like a little land. It was like a big land shark, and then I think this is a, a little mate based on that. That is so adorable. All right, uh, we're no longer in a holiday event, so I'm not going to bother reading all this unless yes. it's really a scene. Ooh, a choice. Oh, they're both worse than what I have currently. <laughs> Wait, is this an option? Oh, that was an option, and that was not worse than what I have currently. I'll grab those then. Bum, 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 bum. Level up. Oh, there we go. Level up, level up. Gear sets. Sick, right. We have gear sets now, and Ellie is back. Shall we uh, do the next one? Sure. Oh, we get Topaz Carbuncle from this. Ah. We'll have all the Carbuncles. <laughs> I'm getting hugged by Ellie. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this was Topaz teaching. Speak with Kilia. Oh, Kilia's down a floor. That, that's the same girl again. Yeah, it is. She's down here, isn't she? Yep. At least I'm fairly she certain she <laughs> There you are. Yep, oh, yep. I guess I'll accept the duty. And now we have to go back to the boss. <laughs> the killed master. God. <laughs> we really... Are you even surprised anymore? No, we really do live in a society. <laughs> yeah, we it's... just completed the quest. <laughs> <laughs> it, this I'm is not even kidding. They just gave free KXP. <laughs> This is one of those times where I'm like, is this game? Oh, it's a cutscene. Is is this a is this game? Game? <laughs> well, we got the topaz carbuncle. Ooh. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Small <Yep>. cutscene. <laughs> That's how you learn, by the way. You you ho throw you hold a book up in the air. All right, next quest. Oh, this one's a cutscene. I cannot summon Topaz yet. <laughs> not, not, not a high level or something? I don't know. Weird. Oh, God. <sighs> yeah, my bony butt is not enjoying sitting right now for some reason. That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think my like tailbone is just like slightly longer than it needs to be, uh, or something. Oof. <laughs> but I've got a pillow under me now, so hopefully that'll help. It is a wooden chair, so it does make a sense a little bit. <laughs> Let me know when you're in this cutscene. <laughs> oh, I'm not in the cutscene yet. I was looking at my abilities. I'm just putting back my normal carbuncle and then I'm in the cutscene. <laughs> Put 
That is not the one I want to get rid of. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ellie's throwing daggers all over the place. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you expecting? <laughs> Oh, we get a better Grimoire from this. Uh -huh. I'm the cutscene. All right. The mercenaries Geifrin, Geisfrin and Erstota, Erstota are here to assist with the inspection. Both are old hands when it comes to escorting Kilia during her more dangerous duties. Well met, Ian. My spells are at your disposal. I don't like your face. <laughs> <laughs> This won't be the first time we're expecting trouble, but as long as we follow the Four Seer's tactics and keep a clear head, we'll come through just fine. The Morningstar is prepared to dock in Aleport. We'll meet our first challenge, however, when we even board the vessel. Before we even board the vessel. It's almost a certainty that the merchant ship has hired a thug or two to accost us at the pier. I calculate the probability at 98%. The crew wish to avoid attacking us on deck, you see, as that would all but trumpet their criminal intentions to the world at large. <clears throat> Now, once we do manage to clear the rails, we'll be we'll be face a deck crowded with armed sailors. For a small party such as ours, the most effective strategy will be to incapacitate individual foes as swiftly as possible. Each opponent we down is one less weapon raised against us. It is imperative that we do not allow ourselves to, be, to become tangled in multiple drawn-out skirmishes, lest we be overwhelmed. I call this stratagem hammerfall. <coughs> Hers is some of the worst dialogue for me to read because I'd have to read it like, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into the desired reality. Keep those words in mind, Ian. It is time we departed. Let us regroup before the main gates of Aleport. What a nerd. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Oh god, that's another... Gotta go... Where am I? Am I am trying to figure out where we need to be. I'm gonna be honest with you. Summerford... Okay, it's near Swift Perch. Oh, we have to get... The... Well, um... Would you be the kind of to teleport us over to Swift Perch? Yeah, let's do that. Ellie is already doing it, oh. I think. Well... Yep. <laughs> Rip. Well, we're here. Yeah. No, where is it? Oh, right, it's over there. Okay, yeah. I was like, where? I was. I knew I could find where it was on the map. I was trying to find where I was on the map, and I was like, I cannot see myself. There. We have so many quests everywhere. True. It looks like there is a teleport area that would have been fast. Uh, Aleport itself. Oh. I, it wasn't showing up what? on my map, so. Because, um. It's now showing up on I my map. I don't know if you resonated with it to begin with last time. Potentially? I don't know. Quarterstone. Woo. You might, you might think that this place uh, has, since it has a lot of stone, you might think that it's all stone, but actually it's only a quarter stone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well then, <laughs> that was the worst pin I've heard in a while. <laughs> oh, is this the place with all the, like the big walls in the port? Oh yeah, L, L port. I guess that would be it, wouldn't it? Let us be about our task, Ian. Pray and inform the steersman at the pier that we are ready to conduct our inspection. I'll see you there. <laughs> Should I let me offer you Okay. Also, oh, there was a flying horse again. Uh, where are we going? Speak with the landing boat. Also, didn't forget to check whether you are synced with the crystal. I don't even remember if I am. Yeah, let's do that. I am. 
I am as well. I just it just didn't oh, show up on my map. I guess maybe maybe it was too zoomed out uh, to see it. Maybe it's, maybe not a major one or something. It's very much possible, to be honest with you. Or it was covered up by the quest marker in my map. All right, there he is, the steersman. The steersman. You sense a hostile presence. Oh. I do, I do, he's right El there. Ellie is just annihilating all the... To be fair, Ellie is like level 47? Yeah. Twice our level. And then uh, some. Well, that was easy. We don't speak to him again? We're just gonna leave him there? Oh, okay, no, we do speak to him again. <laughs> oh, so it, was, it was taking a little bit to show up, so I was like, do we... He just he just leaves us. Uh, uh, we don't we don't we don't interrogate him anymore. Oh wait by the landing. I'll be uh waiting. Yeah, I guess so. And we need to get out of a party again. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We love to see it. Totally. By that I mean it's really annoying that we have to keep doing this. Well, isn't, it's isn't a level this supposed to be quest, by the way? Ah, isn't this supposed to be like a massively multiplayer game, <laughs> not a yes. massively single player uh, game? <laughs> Definitely handled, Ian. Once again, I'm reminded of our guildmaster. Thank you to your efficient response. We were able to uh, commence this inspection earlier than I calculated. We shall board the merchant vessel out in the bay. Erstota, if you would take the rudder, the morning star awaits. That's a Boy. big ship. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> It's like got columns. <laughs> Why does it have all this useless junk on it? <laughs> We're gonna have to fight this every pirate on the ship, by the way. <laughs> Friendly reminder of that. This thing doesn't seem like it should float. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on our tiny little thing. <laughs> Tiny indeed. Since their welcoming party at the pier fell to the Turas, I expect with a probability of 85% that our arrival will incite further belligerence. Well, how did you figure that one out, Sherlock? Our objective, <laughs> however, is not to trade blows, but to gain access to the hold, and they behoove us to employ stratagem hardhead. The aim of our opponents is to buy time so that suspect goods may be tossed into the ocean. I do not intend to give them that time. We will bull our way towards the cargo hold as quickly as we can. It is a tactic fraught with risk, but one that your presence may be possible. Or makes possible. Shall we begin? Yeah, I got a dumb hat. I'm ready our to go. Our four-man party, by the way, has to take down this entire ship. Well, technically, we just had to get into the hold and discover the illicit True, cargo. True, but that's easier said than done. <laughs> Luckily, we have a master strategist on our hands. Who may that be? <laughs> the, the girl. <laughs> I am not really sure if that is a master strategist. Is is she a pugilist? Well, a ma master strategist. We just walk right on the boat, and the guy's there. <laughs> exactly. I'm I am Forsir Kilia, by the authority of Milvin's Gate. I request that you surrender your goods for assessment. Not very intimidating. <laughs> well now, your timing couldn't be worse, lass. The old door's all rusted up, you see. Bloody thing won't open. You'll have to come back another day after we've fixed the engines. I will see that cargo now. Any vessel entering the port of Limsa Lominsa is bound by law to submit to a routine inspection. <laughs> oh, they don't just have spears. They're two-headed spears. The law, is it? Lads, I reckon it's time our guests had themselves a little accident. Pitch them over the side. <laughs> the music. <laughs> I 
Have you done your <laughs> reading for today? The metal intro. Duty commenced. Okay, what's the... Okay, we got, I can't actually get into the hole. We have to kill them. You just have to kill them, okay. Um, I am fairly certain. Amazing, yeah. amazing strategy there, Captain. We have 30 minutes to defeat the entire crew. Carbone, get out of here. Do whatever it is you do. You do. And that's another one down. And another one down. Haha. <laughs> I only have one left. Yeah, I'm just I'm taking down the navigator. Never mind, they got back up. <laughs> <laughs> Ripperoni? Oh, uh, uh, my game gets bugged out for Ooh. a second. Weird. But it's working again, so <laughs> we're Gucci. Is our healer in trouble or something? Oh, I guess so. How many of them are there? <laughs> Go on. Uh, a few. Several. Many. And another refill. Try killing the navigator. <laughs> I'm killing the captain now. Yeah. Or the navigator, rather. Yes, he is the navigator. Same thing. Okay, so they do still refill even if you have killed the navigator, so... Um... I figured as much. I just want the strongest guy out of first. Yeah. He's the one. He's... I already, I already killed the rest. <laughs> All nice. Right. Duty complete. Same. Nice. Just in a slightly different order. There's some giant beast in there, isn't it? <laughs> A masterful display, Ian. Now we can finally gain access to their cargo. Uh, she got oofed. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Oh, I think we found the real captain. What have we here, then? It's one of the bitch admiral's lapdogs scampering aboard me ship. He said a nasty word. You're just like your mistress. Always sticking your nose where it ain't invited. Oh, no, he stepped on a book. That's gonna make her pissed, because she's a nerd. <laughs> no, it can't be. Ha, huh. recognize me pretty face, did ya? I don't. Who the fuck is this? B but you were caught, exiled. I'm, I'm guessing this would make more sense if we played the original Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh, was there an original? Uh, Realm Reborn is actually the second version of the game. Oh, right, because they, they did change the uh, opening. Yeah. I'm it's guessing this guy might have been the original. It's, it's like it's like what they did with uh, World of Warcraft after uh, the release of Ca Calamity. Uh, also, he just threw her yeah. grimoire overboard. <laughs> Forcey, are you hurt? Can you stand? <laughs> stay back. You stay away from me. Forcey, please calm down. What are your orders? I had enough of your whimpering, and I certainly had enough of these bloody books. It's clear you ain't learning anything yeah. from them. She's, she's not doing very well. Not having a good day. PTSD be like. Oof. 
Yeah. Reckon this time you got a different kind of lesson. Yeah, she's not doing well. Yeah, no god. And she ah! she has fainted. Okay. Kelia, no if we can protect her, she's fainted. We must withdraw. Nah, I can take him. Yeah, uh, quickly. No, back no, to the we boat. Can't. We'll carry the force here. I'm like I'm like a couple levels over for this, so we could we got this. Yeah, we're, we're only level 19, we're not taking them out. <laughs> Aye, that's right. You slink back to your mistress, you worthless curs. God. <laughs> I have no clue what that was, but it was that was the uh, pirate dude. No, I, <laughs> that's not how I meant that. <laughs> oh, we have to go back to the Arcanist Guild. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna leave her there, apparently. Now we already saved her. Yeah, but she's like still there on the floor. Nah, that, that's <laughs> what the other people are for. All right, I guess. Uh... Party time. Yeah, I'm teleporting. <laughs> How much you wanna bet we have another duty for the next Arcanist quest? Uh, probably 10 currency. <laughs> I am almost at the Arcanist Guild. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use the use teleport again. Through the the Ethernet. <laughs> teleport and then teleport and then teleport and then. I hate that you were here <laughs> <almost> simultaneously <laughs> with me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good shit right there. <laughs> it's another good scene. Hell yeah. <laughs> it is good to see you well, Ian. Guess friend sent word ahead of your travails. <laughs> An unfortunate turn of events, but considering the infamous Blackheart, uh, Blackheart, actually. Of course fact. it's Blackheart. Well, no, Blackheart is just a term uh, in pirate land. Right. <laughs> uh, but considering I the... wouldn't be surprised if it's the actual name of the game either, no. to be honest with you. Yeah. But considering the infamous Blackheart you faced, you must have fared, you might have fared much worse. Nope, he has an actual name. <laughs> Yeah, that's f I, you know what? Actually, it makes more sense this way because this name looks like a uh, key smash. <laughs> <laughs> True. Have you heard of the pirate Dozmaga? He was exiled from Limsa some years ago, but it appears he ch has chosen to defy the Admiral's orders. And once more, he dares lay a hand on Forsir Kelia. The poor lass must have been terrified. If I had known Dozmaga was aboard that ship, I never would have assigned her that duty. The yeah, assessor must require some time to recover. For Kilia, that man is a nightmare made flesh. Though her, though her physical wounds will soon mend, there is little we can do to salve the might hurt in her mind. You're concerned? Angry, mayhaps? Harness that energy, energy and channel it into your training. I predict <laughs> we shall need Damn. your skills again before long. I imagine in a couple of seconds. <laughs> At least we've got a better grimoire. Ooh, there's a few things here, too. I'll, I'll just take the call, to be honest. Hmm. That was a nice bunch of XP. I... Let's see here. I think I'm gonna take the ring bands. And then, uh, of course, we go into character and we, uh, equip rec recommended gear. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, those ring it's guards are call. cool. Oh. Oh. Oh, it has... Oh, it has oh. slits for your cat ears. <laughs> they look like dental horns. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> it's also red, yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick with this for a bit. <laughs> no, let me equip my better equipment. So Sophie Evil Arc, says Ellie. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. As I, I have my uh, glamour still on, so I'm gonna keep the same look while well, getting better The next better quest is 6,900 XP, by the way. Oh, very nice. Uh, 
Oh shit, I'm getting raped again. <laughs> Umbra Valor, thank you so much for the raid. How are you all doing? What were you playing? Chocobo party. Let me just shout you out real quick. Chocobo, 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 Chocobo. Chocobo indeed. Oh, you were playing Dying Light too. That makes a lot of sense, didn't it? That game, like, just released. <laughs> I think it did. Right. <laughs> How was the stream? How's the game? <laughs> Look at this and welcome man. all of you uh, wonderful uh, raiders as well. These, these children. <laughs> they're still not children, you know. <laughs> they're, they're children. They're not, though. <laughs> uh -huh, our quest is to speak to a small child. Oh, I'm not that far yet. <laughs> I'm talking to the headmaster still. I... Game is unpolished in Europe. That makes... It's... A lot of sense, to be honest, from what I've seen of Dying Light 2 pre-release. This guy's like Naruto running on the... I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. <laughs> this guy's like Naruto running on I, the walls that, of the that, thing. That alert was so delayed, oh my lord. And it gave the host alert instead of raid. We, uh, we love alerts sometimes, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I've considered turning off host alerts just to make it do the raid alert. To be honest, I'm low-key considering doing the same. <laughs> but honestly, like, because, like, people don't really use host very much. Not really, no. Not, not at our level. I've seen it on no. bigger streamers, but... But if you're bigger, you don't want on anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, I've seen bigger streamers host rather than raid. Right, 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 right. That makes I, sense. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. All right, ready to talk to this child? I am still talking to the headmaster. <laughs> like the kill master. <laughs> now, where is this small child? A little, a little ways over, uh, out of, out of the Arcanist Guild. Right. Ah, I see it. I see your dot on the map. <laughs> it makes it awfully easy to get there. For sure. Oh boy. <sighs> uh, no, Umbra, we didn't just start it. We, um, well, we played a, a little bit. It's been a couple of months at this point. I mean, we we didn't exactly play. We didn't exactly play it every week, but yeah, it has been a couple of months since we started. Uh, that's right. Someone just said in the global chat, someone marry me, and then someone said, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Fair enough. I'm not even surprised. All right, don't I am on. not surprised you uh, you love Final Fantasy XIV, Umbra, considering your entire brand is Chocobo based. <laughs> and now let's talk to the small child. Chocobo Who's fan definitely loves not Chocobo a child. game? <laughs> <laughs> So, Umbra, let me guess, you're also buying Chocobo Grand Prix, right? <laughs> Chocobo Kart Racer. Uh, uh, Chocobo... Did you already talk to the child? Yeah, I did. Damn. There's not much to say. It doesn't, it doesn't That's fair, Umbra. Scene, so. Racing games are, um, are something. All right. Do we have to talk to him again? <laughs> no, he has a different quest, actually. Right. I'm not going to accept that right now. Um... Now, where do we go? <laughs> uh... What quest are we even doing? So it looks like it's just outside Limsa Liminsa. It's the pincer maneuver one. I don't remember how to get out of Limsa Liminsa. I think that's on the upper decks. It's, it's, I think it's out, out in the, uh, what they call Lanosia, right? Or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know where I'm, I'm going. I'm just going to use the teleporter <laughs> to go to the upper decks. Oh, I didn't attune with this <laughs> Ethernet <laughs> charts. Oh, well then. Um, Weird. That, we must have missed this one. That's what it seems like. 
I now have access to a bunch of shit. Uh, the upper deck. Let's go to the culinarian skills. Sure. That is exactly where we have to be. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, Ian, did you hear what um? Uh, did I already talk about what they did with Cloud and Chocobo Grand Prix? I didn't yes, remember. Yes, you did. <laughs> okay, this is the wrong tower. <laughs> Whoops! We should have gone to the Marauders Guild. Oh, scale. this is a thing to join the Culinarians Guild. <laughs> we okay. went to the wrong guild. Uh, we where need are we the Marauders Guild. The Marauders Guild. Not the okay. Culinarian Guild. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, looks like it. This makes more sense. <laughs> you are the one. We're meeting in a restaurant. Grenade. All right. Back to the Arcanist Guild. It kind of. Are we at the point now where we can join the other? I think we are. At the point where we can join I other don't know. Things because it seems like everyone has quests to be like join the Culinarians Guild now. I don't know. We might be able to. Hey, Ellie is asking, if "What so, are we doing if, now?" I do not know. We're doing Arcana Guild quests. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just doing Arcana Guild quests until. I don't know what else is the plan. The end of time. <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't mind grinding up a different guild either. And now we need to go back to Illport. <laughs> I love teleporting. I'll see you at Aleport, I guess. Uh, yeah. Don't know if anyone wants to teleport us there or not. Um. It is very bad weather. Oh, wait. <laughs> Ellie and I always cast at the same time. <laughs> and I did not benefit from it, I didn't think. <laughs> Nobody benefited from it. <laughs> <laughs> Search for Killian Air Airport. We are just running. Is she up or down? Are you already at the airport? Yeah. I'm just going to teleport there then. <laughs> I hate that sometimes it does. Oh, I have 420 HP. It Hell yeah. Can I just like go to airport? That hole is way too difficult to cast that. I don't see her. <laughs> she must not be up here. Cool. Back down I go, I guess. <laughs> Getting lost in the airport? Mm, just trying to find her. Oh, I know exactly where she is. It won't let me jump off with that. I know exactly where she is. She's at the landing boat. I thought that, but I was like... She's back here! Aha! Uh -huh. See, I couldn't see her back here. She's like hidden away. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's calculating on the ground. Like, she's like drawing. Or something. Or maybe she's talking to the prisoner there. Okay, we have to talk to her again, but where the hell is that? Okay, it's in lower. Uh huh. Oh, see, so yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. All right. 
Um, can someone teleport us to Morby Tridox? <laughs> or is there a closer one potentially? I don't think so. Yeah, Limsa Laminsa is kind of a similar distance, but. I've. How Limsa Laminsa is harder to navigate. Limsa Laminsa is more of a pain. Yeah. <laughs> Generally speaking. In my opinion, this place is easier to navigate than Grisanya, though. Yeah, well. I. I. I don't know. It's. Hard to say either way, I think. I'm not sure if I really like the layout of Gridania. Yeah. If it weren't for the fact that Gridania split into old Gridania and new Gridania, it would probably be fine. That's not even the biggest problem, in my opinion, because that's like the lower and upper decks. My problem is how difficult it is to get through some of the outside forests. Hmm. More so than anything. Yeah, I guess, I guess we haven't really we haven't really done a lot of stuff in the forest there, so I haven't really noticed. Nope, because we're saving those quests for doing the different yeah. uh, classes if we want to. Yeah. To be honest, I might just grind up some classes uh, on an individual stream. Yeah. Because I think you are only really interested in the class you get from upgrading this, aren't you? The well, not it's not a class from upgrading this one. It's it's like a very specific class you get at like level fifty or something. I thought it was an evolution of this. I could be mistaken though. No, nah, I, I don't, don't better than I me. I don't believe it is. I could very well be mistaken. I think I think it's like a Shadowbringers. That would make sense. Wouldn't you need Shadowbringers for that then, though? Or not, was it, it's one of the DLC. It's, it's like the, the last one's Heavensward. I think I think it's the last DLC that's available in the free trial yeah. that has that it. That is Heavensward. I, I believe I believe it's Heavensward. I don't I don't know. I don't remember though. It's the uh, what is it called though? It's the fucking um. I want to say it's a theologian. I don't know if that's it. Uh, we just have to wait now, I guess. Yeah, we have to use this. Uh, of course we do. It's Waiting. gonna require us to leave the party again, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Apparently, a lot, this involves a lot of leaving the party. This quest line. Yep. Take two. <laughs> Probably Heaven's Word. It's the um, it's the one that you use tarot cards for, Ellie. That's the one. <laughs> like your whole your whole deal is playing like tarot cards or something. <laughs> Look at these guys. And <laughs> <laughs> we're just here and having yeah, we a have, final stand. With the they guild have master. swords, but we have books. And the guild master. True. Carbuncle. Astrologian, Carbuncle there we go. So used in my and it is Heaven's Word, so or Heaven's Sword. Good to know. So yeah, it, it's a while away. We're not getting there anytime soon. It's only up to Heaven's Word? You have to buy the full version to actually play Heaven's Word? What? <laughs> nice. Okay, well, you know. Well, that is... It's not what you were anticipating, I'm fairly certain. No, not really. But, you know, whatever. There's a lot of them. Jeez. Yeah, I'm all... dying. Mool job mercenary. All right, there we go. 
have got rid of that guy. I hope you pack potion. I did not. Or maybe I did? I have no idea. the award-winning trial <laughs> the, the award-winning uh oh. heaven's ward expansion like that was part of the whole meme there is so many of them I like how uh, Thurber Gym is like level question mark question mark. I think I've killed them all. I'm getting there, I think. Yeah, I killed them all. And I killed the Grimoire. Let's go. Duty complete. All right. Oh, thanks, Thurber Jim, for walking backwards for no reason. <laughs> there it is. I actually really like this rope. Oh, it does include it. Awesome. So I can I can be a uh, astrologian. At least for like 10 levels. <laughs> well executed, everyone. Were you able to retrieve my grimoire? Ian, pray hand over the tome. Here you go. <laughs> it's ruined. My wonderful grimoire is ruined. The probability of repairing the da degree of damage is 0%. E even well, shouldn't have let it fall overboard. True. Even the most brilliant strategy cannot undo such ravages of seawater. Uh, we killed so many people for this. Yep. <laughs> I have never and now we so can go back to the guild, my defeated. I believe it is time I returned home. Runs all the way home. Leave her be. <laughs> but how of can course. I? He's right, Aristota. You must allow Kilia time to process the loss. And you have other matters to which we must attend. Come in, it is time we return to the guild as well. Guild, 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 guild. Back and forth from the guild. <laughs> You're not wrong. That is exactly what we're doing. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking teleport. Who cares? I got plenty of money to teleport. The guild. <laughs> you could have just returned to Limbs of the Mints and then used the Ethernet. That's true, but, you know, if I save the return, maybe I can use it the next time we have to return to Limsalim and so. Uh, fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> Plus, I can't teleport directly to the, to the place anyway, so it's, I'm, I'm, I'm already teleporting to Limsalim and so it's... All right. Here we go. Well, this is Ash Mask. Yes. Unable to join party because I'm in this menu. <laughs> nice. Um. These shoes are very powerful, apparently. I'll take the shoes. Oh, we can't take the next one because it's too high a level. Well, <laughs> that's good to know, I suppose. Yep. 
character. My shoes are doo doo, so now I have proper shoes. Equip recommended gear. Okay, uh, what oh, do I we even do now? I don't mind these at all. I guess we could continue the story. Yeah, either that or start doing quests from other guilds. I think doing the story on stream would be probably the better decision. Okay. To be honest. So, uh, we have to go to Gridania. <laughs> uh... But maybe we should get invited to a party first again. Oh, right. I, I, am, I am already invited. I just need to join it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that because I was in the thing. Uh, actually, I believe this is the place we go to get the. Oh no, first Vesper Bay is not where we need to go. Where Where do you see your invites, if I may ask? Uh, it's in like the corner, the bottom right. I oh there it is. I'm so blind. <laughs> it's kind of out of the way, and uh, your you. I am so blind. The user interface is just covered in garbage. But yeah, we have to get to Gridania. Yeah. yeah, which we've yet to find the uh, airship place again. Or oh, we teleport there. Sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Something tells me Elliot's too much gill. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Um. <laughs> I don't even know which one's the main quest anymore. Uh, Call of the Forest or whatever it's called. Call of the Forest, okay. I don't know what exactly it's called, to be honest with you. Call of not the know. Forest. Haha. <laughs> But I know where it is, I hope. Ooh. Okay. I think it's in the Ubridine, yeah. Never mind, it's in the... Yeah, I'm going the right way already, by pure accident. What the hell? It's like saying it's over here. Hey, Chocobo It's right in here. Hire a Chocobo Porter. What? What does that mean? Well, that's a nice amount of XP. I don't know how to get where you are. Oh, I did by doing that. Okay. You, you just walk in here. See, I, I, <laughs> I didn't realize it was <laughs> under all that stuff. I was like, I can't go that way. It's under. Yeah, I'm sitting on the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take your quest. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, I haven't taken that quest yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, Ellie has 220,000 uh, gil. That is a lot. <laughs> Once you get to the fourth area, your money should skyrocket. Okay, that, I didn't know that's there was a cool, fourth area. <laughs> Whatever the fourth area is. <laughs> Ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's a long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting, Mune, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have none stepped forward? And good evening to you, Bolard. Your need must be pressing indeed if you are to honor us with a visit. <laughs> the good news is your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report we have a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. It's, it's Robin Hood. It's Robin Hood! <laughs> My thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Lewin. I lead the men and women of God's Quiver. What now, name? <laughs> no, time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. I really love nipping things in the bud here. <laughs> Absolutely. The best way to nip things, honestly. Honestly. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called Tam Tara Deepcroft. The place was once a Gelmoran settlement, but we Gridanians have long interfi interred our dead there. 
Of late, however, shadowy figures have been seen skulking around the deep croft, and with ever-increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which sprung prior to Calamity. Oh no. Uh, so this is obviously a reference to the... Actually, you know what? I just realized it's called the Calamity, and in World of Warcraft, they called it expansion that changed everything. To the... They called it oh, Calamity. No. I think this is older, though, isn't it? I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know when... When World does Warcraft... Calamity release? I, I have no idea. I don't play World of Warcraft. <laughs> I just know about I, this I, one I, particular I, thing. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Give me one second. Apparently, Minra wow. has half a million gil in her game. Damn. Jesus. People be playing Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> Calamity released in 2020. This is definitely older. Wow. I did not realize it was so recent. <laughs> I've always heard people talking about it, and it sounds like something that happened in, like, 2016. Yeah, <laughs> February 2020. Wow. That's, what that sounds? That's really weird. Whatever. So, yeah, it very well could have been that Final Fantasy did it first. I think so. Uh, these zealots have proved themselves dangerous in the past, and we leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the deep croft with the orders to flush the cultist out. Alas, the calamity decimated our ranks, and our limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the Ixal at bay. The Birdmen have grown restless of late. I know. <laughs> oh god, more more fantasy racism. First fishmen, <laughs> now birdmen. <laughs> I fear a storm may be brewing. In anticipation of this, I've been compelled to spread our forces throughout the Twelve Woods, lest we be taken unawares. The situation so being, we must turn to others to deal with the lambs of Dalamud. Can we rely on you to undertake this task, friend? Yeah. Of course. We undertake anything gratitude. that we get asked, apparently. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Once you've seen to our preparations, Mary, pray make your way to the Deep Croft and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. Well, let's go. Let's go down to the lobby. Let's go down to the lobby. Hey, Koop Koopa. Or Koop Koop Koop. Coop, coop, coop. Doing a coop doing a delivery here, I guess. Do 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 do. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh lord, scroll, there's a lot of quests here. Scroll, 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 scroll. But the main quest is that away. Okay, I know. I I have found the quest. But it's uh oh it's a while away. Oh boy. Oh, that's so not I that hope bad. you're ready to run for a bit in this godforsaken forest that is literally impossible to traverse at night. The music is different here. Like the battle music is it. it's similar but using different instruments. Uh there's a bunch of rocks in the way here. I'll see you there. Uh, oh, we can go up here. And then we can go over this. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue where you are anymore. Uh, I'm right behind you. Y you sure? On the map? Yeah. Oh. Well, there you are. Okay, there's, they just had to go around that rock. <laughs> oh, right. I think we're going to a dungeon. <laughs> uh huh. I believe we are currently heading for a dungeon. Dungeon La Mungeon. This was so bad. <laughs> You'd think there would be some teleport points around here. Nah, don't need the teleport. You could just walk the whole way. <laughs> There's a bunch of hornets around here, by the way. Yeah, I noticed that. Hey, Ellie. Ellie's riding a. That is a scorpion. 
There's a bunch of scorpions around here. Ooh, fun. Ladybug, off of my hand. <laughs> God damn it. I fucking hate ladybugs so much. Uh, Ellie has decided to fight all these undead, I suppose. Sure, why not? Well, she does so we that, we'll do the quest. Oh, I can't because I'm being attacked by a giant skeleton. Sorry, his Why name is Magic the Bones. These? Why are we even fighting the magic bones again? Uh, because Ellie fought them and then they attacked us. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's get into the danger. I am getting attacked by Sulfid. I'm getting attacked by a firefly. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Tom Tara. Deep crop. I am being raided again. Oh, uh, it's the raid we expected, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Hello, Morphe. How is the stream? Welcome in, raiders. We are just playing some Final Fantasy. Of course, Ellie is here, too. <laughs> of course, Ellie is also part of the raid. <laughs> I was going to Kazooie, Morphe. Can you really be part of a raid if you were already there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> welcome in Sweaty. Welcome in PVMP. Welcome in Ellie. Welcome in Morphe. Welcome in Machu. I'd say it's going well. Uh, we we had some stuff at the start. Uh, this time not because my microphone wasn't working, but because <laughs> I didn't realize you had to enable desktop audio separately on OBS. Which um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we 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 already completed the Valentine's Day event. Yeah, you have to watch. You'll have to watch the Yes, Valentiones. Uh, That's the matter for you, pizza because pie. We're, because we're Italian now, of course. The spicy meatball. And we uh, and we already beat the Arcanist quest, so now we're just doing the story again. Mm -hmm. I was Rusty all... Bucket Bay. <laughs> we did all did the. You beat uh, it? We did all the Arcanus quests we could. Did you beat Rusty Bucket Baseless? Or not quite? <laughs> hmm. I should probably finish talking to this fellow. <laughs> the bay has been beaten, now that is great to hear. So what do we do now? Are we supposed to enter or...? Yeah, I believe so. Or is Ellie entering on is in or what? The duty, duty roulette. roulette. When using duty to roulette, you will be assigned to a random duty from. Okay, in return for leaving your uh, station and dance of fate, you will receive enhanced rewards. So you're randomly rolling for a dungeon. Um. Only a party oh. leader may register for a duty. Okay, so Ellie has to register. Yep. So I it's guess it's Ellie's just, uh, time to shine again. I guess we just stand here and. Uh... No, we sit here. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> we just sit here and don't do anything else. But yeah, how's it going, Raiders? I'm glad. Morphe. I can imagine Rusty Bucket Bake was quite infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are streamers so, on strike. Uh, so I'm very much it. glad that you beat it. We are streamers on strike until Ellie fix, fix, gets the you thing started You don't have to for apologize us. for being AFK for a second, silly ad. <laughs> <laughs> so is Ellie AFK for a second too? <laughs> By any chance? Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Mayhaps means definitely. I don't know. I, I didn't the get anything. The save state saved you. 
Nice. Nice, Celeste. <laughs> we love it when safe states come in clutch. <laughs> <sighs> how are we doing, everyone? <laughs> yes, how are we doing, everyone, indeed. Also, Morphe, let me know if the audio of the game and uh, Ian is all right. Uh, because I did have to test that earlier when I realized that stop audio wasn't enabled. And I'm not certain if everything is perfect or not, because I only had one personal feedback. Ellie has gone offline. Um, I mean, the music right now in the game is quiet in general, Morphe. Yes, I need all the appealers. I was already discussing that with Ian earlier, actually, that I was already um, going to get that set up after the stream. Thank you for that redemption, Morphe. So, what are we doing? Do we have, do we have any idea where Ali went? Uh, no idea, as far as I can tell. I think it it popped up with a message that Ali went offline. Hi, Morphe. Morphe's in my chat now, too. <laughs> Woo! We love that. We absolutely love that. We're going to destroy Morphe's internet with two streams at once. <laughs> 140p go blue. <laughs> also, my bitrate is so much more consistent using OBS instead of slobs. It's not even funny. It is so much more consistent. To be honest, with Ellie going offline, you might have become party leader by default. Uh, OBS is very nice. There's a symbol next to your name in my party menu. Really? Uh... Huh. An L. <laughs> well, I tried to. One of your party members does not meet the requirements for this duty. What does that mean? Probably that one of our ranks doesn't fit the duty requirement. Uh, requirements. The question one. is, is that one of us or is that Ellie who is still in our party for some reason? Yeah, I don't know. One Wait, if you're the party member, you should be able to kick Ellie from the party, no? One to four players, one tank, one healer, two DPS, disciples of war or magic. We have two DPS currently. Yeah. I Limited... think the problem is that Ellie is still in the party. But while also not being in the party. Limited jobs can participate only in... I, I guess that's it. Let me... Maybe you could try to kick Ellie? I don't know. Might as well try. Party members? I don't even know if you're able to or not. <laughs> I reckon you could should be able to. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> now let's we are try registered. again. <laughs> that was it. I knew it. Yep. All right. I knew it. Now that we've kicked Ellie from the party, we can we can move on. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab some extra water. Alrighty. Rip Ellie. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine, Ellie. <laughs> Oh, you had a power cut. Oh, my God. Well, I hope everything's all right with you. Hope everything's okay. One hundred... Wait. 100, party finder. What? I haven't... Oh, no. Duty registration complete of the... Th oh, no. I have no idea how any of this works. Ellie, come back, please. <laughs> why Why is Morphe making redemptions while I'm not even here? 
That's the real question now, isn't it? All right. Oh shit! I accidentally, I accidentally opened something I shouldn't have opened. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ellie will be back soon. Okay, that's Ellie, good. Ellie's power cut out. Oh well, that sucks. Yeah. Also, I have no idea how this duty registration thing works. Also. I am gonna be honest with you. I have no clue in the slightest how it works either. Yeah, I mean, if you if you I don't know if you have my stream open, but if you look at it, it's very confusing. Let, let, let me see if I can grab it up. Like, what am I even looking at here? <laughs> I'm still pulling it up. Jesus Christ! It's it's just, um, it's just pure information. <laughs> okay, Ellie says she's Jesus gonna rejoin Christ. and then set it up. Um, oh, thank the Lord! Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, Dude, this is. I'm going so to disband dumb. the party now that I've. <laughs> so that way, Ellie can set it up a new one. Uh, Uh, in the meanwhile, we can uh, dance. Suppose so. Or we can fight the magic bones. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> They're all yours. Experience points. I did think you're gonna get much from level 13 skeletons when we're level 22. <laughs> Experience points. <laughs> I did think you're gonna get much. Might as well. It's streamlined for PS4 players. That makes sense, actually. Scam. Ooh, I got 32 experience points. That's pretty good. That is absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's 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 something to do though. <laughs> True. Even if it is just clicking ruin over and over again. <laughs> that is exactly what we're doing. I I don't understand. Um, what do you call this? Uh, I'm gonna call it to toolbar based to combat more. systems. Attention, they, they don't, Hopefully they don't really appeal to me. Fair. But I tried, I, like, God damn it. <laughs> like, I tried playing, um, what was it? It's uh, Dragon Age, which also has right. the same kind of. Or it, it was like I think it was specifically Dragon Age Inquisition, I believe. It was it was one that was given to me for free by uh, EA's system. Then it's probably Inquisition. Yeah, so. I would reckon. Okay, Ellie's back. Well, we killed the entire tomb. So, uh... Okay, Ellie is back, let's go. <laughs> Last thing Ellie saw was Sophie's character face. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, so I was playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and it also has, like, a toolbar combat system, and I just... It just... Uh... Just, it just kind of turned me off. Fair. Well, the party members, it's not, it, probably because we're all DPS currently. <laughs> Yeah, Ellie's, Ellie to too, Ellie's too powerful or something. <laughs> also possible. But I think it's probably just the class she's using. Maybe. That's what I'm guessing, at least. Ellie knows how it works, though, so Ellie can fix it. <laughs> I mean, Ellie has more classes than we do, so True. yeah, I'd hope so. There we go. Yay, it's the maid. <laughs> <laughs> Battle maid. Let's go. The X user. Ah, uh, okay. Ellie's meant to be tank. Gotcha. There we go. <sighs> and now we wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> and Ellie starts sensing. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I wish there was some actual music in this area. Yeah, there's only music if you fight things. But that's not what we want. Also, I've noticed that the carbuncle part of the UI has, um, like, the different gems of the different carbuncle gems you can make. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know what that, that means. I how it works. I don't know how it works exactly. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it they're just kind of there. <laughs> the, this game is too confusing sometimes, I swear. Yeah, especially when it comes to the UI. Yeah. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, I mean, look at look at my UI. It's like covering up a good portion of the screen. I mean, that is kind of the point of an MMO, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Another reason why I'm not a big MMO person. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be able to see the game. <laughs> fair, fair. That is very fair. But I gotta have a toolbar to do this with. To do what with? Emotes. <laughs> of course. Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Time to commence. Time to commence the dungeon raid. Ooh, spooky dungeon. Tum, this tada, is tum, a tada. dungeon, all right. Damn. What a deep craft. <laughs> doesn't seem to be the biggest dungeon ever. Nah, it doesn't. It's certainly not as big as the Halloween one. It wasn't even that big, I didn't think. It was just... <laughs> it had a lot of teleports. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Get ruined. We're completely decimating them. Mm -hmm. We have three castles, by the way. Hell yeah. He was also casting Ruin. Flesh flies. Sounds unpleasant. I am I am dying. <laughs> what are you fighting? Skeletons. Oh, Whatever these fellas are. I I was dying though, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not taking a hit, so This engine really doesn't seem that big. Yeah. There's way too many of these people, so... That honestly makes it significantly worse, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah. I don't like these carry-on beetles. <laughs> I do not like them, Sam, I am. Well, this seems familiar. Just like going through a small corridor and then there's a room and we clear out the room and we move down the small corridor and then there's a room. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like, well not every dungeon, the first dungeon is actually kind of like just like a weird cavern full of mushrooms. But this feels a lot like the Halloween dungeon now. Yes. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if the Halloween dungeon is a reskin of this dungeon. Potentially. With teleports. To make it feel different. Get ruined. He 
You don't have to get up close yeah, to cast ruin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was having trouble clicking on him. We're decimating them. Mm -hmm. Easy. This is literally a reskin of the same dungeon. You can't convince me otherwise. Yeah, it kind of seems that way. Or vice versa. This I mean. is the point where we teleport. Yeah. Ellie just single-handedly took out the priest. <laughs> I was I was shooting the priest uh, too. Oh, hello. That's a void soul caster. Oh, we got this easily. It is the Halloween dungeon, Ellie says. Thank you for the lurk, Morphe. I hope you enjoy it. And a lurk over here. Double lurk. This is literally the Halloween dungeon, though. Yeah, no, that's what Ellie says. Like, like, literally, literally. <laughs> it is so obvious. Oh, I leveled up. Let's go. Orb Turnius Offius. And I no 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 might please <laughs> please get them out of here immediately. I'm working on it. Invalid target. Have you tried killing something that's alive? Oops. I wish there was like an auto target system. It wouldn't surprise me if PlayStation 4 has that. <laughs> yeah, actually, that would make sense. But I don't think we do. <laughs> Maybe someone should take out those beetles. Take them out. Like the wasp shredder. I oh. can't talk. <laughs> I can't even get a target on the swarm. Yeah, they're hard to target. Uh, there's a dead end, but I want to see what's in the room. There we go. Oh shit. I may have stumbled into a giant room of my four enemies. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the end of the dungeon. I feel like we have to do this for all the pillars of light. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit. So it's a worse version of the Halloween thing. <laughs> yeah.
Dalamud Priest, more like Dedamud Priest. And now we take out the Soul Fountain. I wonder how many souls he's counted in this time. This game is mostly visual noise, I've noticed. I got leveled up. But how? I I guess I guess when we get back out I'll have leveled up. Uh no 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 nope nope I am not looking at those enemies. Please kill them for me. Oh. I am not looking at them. Oh god. <laughs> I am not looking at them. Please tell me when they're murdered so I can walk back in. They really do be the feeders of Yarzon. Alright, they're gone. Please tell me they're dead. I mean, their corpses are still there, but they're, they're dead. Uh... <laughs> okay, at least I can fight this enemy. <laughs> nice. I can find a swarm. There we go. So I'm finally able to target one. <laughs> nice. We targeting the bugs. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I am not turning that corner. <laughs> I am not turning that corner. Yarkon feeders, more like Yarkon deleters. Yes, please delete them. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to see this. I like I like how uh, all our branding for this stream is about the Valentine's Day event, and now here we are fighting the worst things you can imagine, <laughs> the worst horrors you can imagine. Gotcha, gotcha. Very funny. No, they're they're okay, gone by now. Okay, they're dead. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, now I can fight again. Nice. So how is your chat doing? <laughs> um, I think they're fine. I don't know. They haven't said anything in a while. Chat, are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to call an ambulance for chat? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe. Who knows? Possible. Take that crop light. Get ruined. Okay, we go left. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'll just fight from back here. Don't come any closer, please. <laughs> uh, I got you. Uh, <laughs> that one's got aggro on you. <laughs> <laughs> Kill it. Thank you. That, that one was like <laughs> on aggro on you specifically. Which is not what I want. <laughs> All right, here comes an... Time for the third orb, I guess. Almost. Oh, there's enemies here. I realized that totally. <laughs> I miss the Halloween music. 
Same. <laughs> the Halloween music was really good. I don't think we can get in that one yet. Yeah, I think we have to go around. I think we have to do the other orb first. I like how we have three cars and then one the X wheel. <laughs> I also like how you're not even targeting the person standing right next to you. Yeah, why would they do that? I can't even see them. <laughs> <laughs> but I cast the final blow on him. That's what counts. Shish. Oh my lord. <laughs> Get out of here, Akmena. Now it's back to this one again. Ellie was too fast. We really do be pressing the button. Until There's it a goes. lot of enemies here. Also, I'm gonna turn up my desktop portfolio a little bit. Because apparently you were a little bit quiet. Uh -huh. Which I can believe. That's fair. Well, there's a soul counter. Get addled. What do these do? Sleep? Sure, we'll cast sleep. Oh, I'm not. I don't have a target. There we go. Sleep. Sleep. We're doing heavenly peace. literally no damage, by the way. What? Doing literally no damage, by the way. Uh -huh. It's getting there. Dead. There we go. <laughs> oh. The dungeon is not over yet, it seems. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time for the boss of this engine. Who is free from the, the void to resign this cruel vessel? It's an octopus, of course it is. Yeah, it's, a, it's all Lovecraftian here. The undying master will drink deep tonight. This guy is ready to go. Let's go! Galvanth the Dominator. Galvanth the Dominator. Dominate this jerk He's wad. actually taking more damage than a soul caster. <laughs> <laughs> Get addled. Galvanth the Dominator, more like Galvanth the Dominated. <laughs> Aether charge. Yeah, seriously, I don't, he's getting owned. I don't. I don't know what Aether charge does, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, it makes you stronger, I think. Oh. Powerful. I've gone Ruby Carbuncle mode. Oh shit! There's more enemies. Oh, he's invulnerable now until we get rid of them. I think it was specifically the imp that made him invulnerable. Ah, okay. Because we're damaging him again. Fair enough. That's a big area of effect. You question this area of effect, but not the Halloween dungeon. <laughs> Well, that, that guy, we were in his, like, nightmare dungeon, uh, so... He's invincible again. Yep. Take out the imps. Might as well get rid of the mites, too. <laughs> True. Might as well. They are a slight loser. Might as well. 
my lord. <laughs> All right, now now we kill him. Now you die. I don't think he's gonna die this round. I think he's gonna summon enemies again. Summon Topaz. Let's upgrade. Get in there, nope, Topaz. He's dead. <laughs> he beat Galvin. Level up. Well, that was a boss. <laughs> Bow striker boots. <laughs> Cast your lot. <laughs> nice. Action learn, lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming, let's go. Gradually restores own MP, interesting. Uh, I propose we go report it and then maybe call the night. All right. You don't want to do a five hour stream like usual? <laughs> I am not feeling five hour stream right now. I've got to be honest with you. Oh, God. The dynamite's right there. <laughs> um, I think we have to get back to. Uh, yeah, we have to go all the way again. back. Can someone teleport us by any chance? I do be teleporting us. Woo. That's what we love to see. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm an Arcanist free try. <laughs> we love being Arcanist. Um, oh yeah, it's under this. Okay. That person's I'm still Sneed. loading. You sure you don't want to do all of Copper Bell Mine tonight? What does that entail? Uh, what, what does that mean? It doesn't sound good. It sounds like... The way you've worded it makes it sound like it's a lot. Uh, yeah. There she is. There she is. There she is. It's another dungeon. Uh, I do not want to do another dungeon today. That's fair. So yeah, we'll turn this in, we'll do this cutscene, and then we'll call it. Welcome back, Ian. I'm reliably informed that your foray into deep craft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. Batteron's ringing endorsement left me a little in doubt as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Bolord Lewin asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon a, such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has come, uh, become even blah, an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is, currently, uh, is constantly inundated with petitions. We are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves, with predictable consequences. Ah, as if to illustrate the point. A wizard. A wizard! <laughs> Aver is gone, it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. But I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He shouldn't have been so hard-pressed in the first place. We should have done more to lighten his burden. Bah! To hell with this pathetic excuse for a party! I'm leaving! And it'd be too soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye, and good riddance. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as a surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing, but you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel as this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by the way, some parting advice. Get rid of Avery's hand. Bury it, crewmate, or cremate it. Do whatever the hell you want to do with it. But for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's, it's just, just get rid of it, all right? Damn. Wait, please don't leave me alone. I'm so sorry, Avery. Please forgive me. Well, that happened. Oh, uh, yeah. Seems like this has become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. 
Now you see why I'm grateful for adventures of your experience. I can send women like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would have trusted you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from the, my counterpart in Ulda. She seeks the re services of a reliable adventure, and you're nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word, and I'll be able to. Gl I'll be glad to share the details with you. Sure. Sure. That's not a six thousand XP. Let's go. Hell yeah. Uh, we started Don't in Limsa Lominsa. And we'll take that quest. Yep. And there we go. I am not capable of grabbing it yet, so I think mine is still loading. There we go. Rip. That's better. <laughs> Take the quest. All right. I think that might be where we call the night. Alrighty. First quest. First, we have to figure. Okay, here's the end is right here. Nice. Ah yes. That's convenient. <laughs> That's really convenient, actually. Alright. Comfy feather bed. This seems like a better sleeping arrangement. This seems significantly better than whatever limbs are the <laughs> Um. Real quick, Significantly we'll do a more quick pleasant. Recommended gear <laughs> check. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this skirt on her better than the other one, I think. Awesome. <laughs> nice. I'm just wearing my red robes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got better stats, which is always the most important part. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. I think we accomplished quite a lot today, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, we did uh, the Valentino's Valentino's Day event. Italian! Da, it's a matter for you. <laughs> Pizza. That's <laughs> out of bing, bada bing, bada boom. Pizza. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, so. Uh. That's, a, that's, that's, uh, everything, I think. So let's just, uh, start wrapping up. Yeah, I think so. Um. What you got, what you got in the works? Uh, I'm intending to start streaming more again starting next week. <laughs> nice. For exact plans, follow my Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, you got a bunch of polls up right now, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh, I do indeed have a bunch of polls on to gauge interest in a variety of series that might nice. or might not happen. Very, very nice. Uh, <laughs> as for me, I've got my Sunday stream coming up. Uh, more Inscription, Casey's Mod. Speaking of... The VOD for last stream uh, just came up today. It's been edited together, so the two pieces are now whole. And it's up, nice. and you should all watch it so that it gives it numbers so that it, other people will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, but also, we'll also watch it because it was funny up until the uh, power went... Or not power, the internet went out for fucking three hours. Um, <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Uh, Yikes. But it's all edited now, so go go and watch it. Also, it has an amazing Morphe thumbnail, so you got to go check out the videos to, to see that. Woo! The best thumbnails. Exactly. Uh, Do check as, it out, people. As for next... I, also, I guess I also have... Um, next week, I have the uh, b next episode of the Budget Sealed series. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! series I did with Kara Hestia. Good shit. Woo. Always fun. Uh, as for next Final Fantasy stream, I think in two weeks' time... That sound, probably sounds good to me. Awesome. Uh, we'll, I'll we'll keep you updated if anything we'll, comes up. Yeah, yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll make it tentatively in two weeks' time. Tentatively. <laughs> so I, I think I think having it be in every other week would be would be ideal if we can. But we'll, we'll see how it works out. Exactly. 
Uh, we uh, shall always, see it. As always, we have to make sure we, uh, Final Fantasy has to work with us too. <laughs> that is also very important. Yes. <laughs> um. Anything else? I think we're all set. I think we're pretty much set. So I think. Uh, well, let me shout you out. Real quick, another yeah, time, let me, actually. Let me do that too, so we can get a get some cross follows go. Ing. There we go. We last played Final Fantasy fourteen online. Is it actually called online? I, yeah, it I is. actually didn't know that. Yeah, I did not know the online was part of the name. I'm going to be honest with you. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. And I'm now over. I'm going to take a look. Who we could raid. Yeah, I was thinking Haru. <laughs> that is actually a pretty good idea. There we go, typing on the Playing wrong keyboard Civilization again. With Minra, Feli, and I can't see the last one because my title cut off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, Valen, uh, that's Minra's uh, husband. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, I have no clue what face my VTuber is making. Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's a good idea though, uh, especially for me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So yeah, I'm gonna send you all over no, it there. That's fine to me dude, though. I'm and just gonna put my raid command in chat, so anyone on my side, please use that raid comment when yeah. the, we raid Haru. And Playing on... civilization something. I didn't yes. actually look at civilization. Five, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, everyone on my end, just be kind and courteous. That's all I ever ask. Um, and I think with that, have a wonderful evening. Uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a wonderful, wonderful night. Have a wonderful night indeed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Tell me when you're ready, by the way. Okay. Okay, Ray. I am almost...